Hi, chat. Hello. Hello. Some of you might be wondering, why is he so late? Well, first and foremost, I'm just gonna say, no, I didn't get drunk over the weekend. Yes, I understand. I am 51 years old and I had my birthday yesterday. But I had a good weekend. I didn't do anything foolish. I got to see my ladies. Zool and I took the drive up north to, to, to spend some time with the girls, so she got to meet them. My oldest finally delivered to me, unto me, my birth... Or, I want to say birthday gift because she gave it to me, even though it's technically my Christmas gift. This is my new mug, courtesy of my eldest. <laughs> Do I look like I care? And in the bottom, you'll still see some coffee. Nope. <laughs> Fantastic mug. I'm just going to say that right now. Nice, much for... <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice mug for the Friday chat. There you go. Um, yeah. Do I look like I care? Nope. Nope. Whole mug up. Look disappointed. You mean like this? Yes, yeah, so yesterday was my birthday chat. Yes. Thank you for the five biddies, Zool. See, birthday biddies. See, Zool gave me birthday unicorn biddies. Thank you, Zool. But no, and then yesterday, so spent the whole day with Zool on Saturday. We went and visited with my girls. Um, she got to see where I grew up. Five bits, don't blow it all in one place if you can't. I mean, listen, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> it's five cents. It's okay. I still love it, though. Uh, you know what? Hey, I ain't judging. You know I ain't judging. You know I am not judging. She knows. If she really wanted to know all she got to do, all I got to do is walk up the street to her condo and go, hey, I ain't judging you. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture too, and you know that. Um, so yes, yeah, so we went up to my hometown on, on Saturday, spent the day there, showed her. I got to show her around. I'll let her explain what she thinks of where I grew up. I think she likes it. Absolutely hated it. Worst place ever. It's mo hey, there's no moose up there, but we do have bald eagles. We watched a bald eagle. We actually watched a bald bald eagle scoop a fish and get chased down by four freaking lake chickens, seagulls, doing the mine, 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 mine. And it was, uh, I'll be honest, I have not seen a bald eagle in the wild. Uh, yeah, no, the, 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 the fucking eagle didn't give a shit about no damn seagulls. It's like, <laughs> if you think you're big enough to take this fish from me, let's fucking go. <laughs> he, he legit didn't give a shit. He's just like, doo doo doo, found the biggest rock. He just started tearing the fish apart, eating things away, and they're flocking around him, and he's just like, y'all want to come and try to take it? He's just like, you see him, zero fucks. And I'm like, that is the most majestic goddamn thing. Carry him by the time he's done. I mean, pretty much. But it was one of the most majestic natural things I've witnessed in a very long time, right? Yeah, eagles, no fucks given. But here's the thing. Every eagle I've seen prior to Saturday has been in a bird sanctuary, has been in captivity. This is the first one I have seen in the fucking wild in my entire goddamn grown ass life. We're, we're talking about an area of the world that has not seen an eagle, a bald eagle, in 200 years. 200 years. Yeah, the, I should, yeah, no, I should have gotten a pig. I like that. They prefer freedom. No, they prefer not getting shot at by idiots. <laughs> we should have gotten some pictures. Don't worry, you already know we're going back up there. I mean, we're going to go up there. The weather's getting nice. We're going to go up there and it's going to be nice. And Canadian Sky Cobra. Yeah, Sky Cobras won't even fuck with an eagle. <laughs> it's true. Ben Franklin, one of the, <laughs> the country bird to be turkey, and that's better. I mean, listen, you know, hey. <laughs> but no, so it was it was pretty good. And then yesterday, uh, Zul took me out for brunch, I guess you could say, like coffee and brunch for my birthday. And. That was my that was my birthday wrap up. 
A um, couple of things I want to touch base with before we get into the game. Uh, number one, again, thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, is that different than feral coal? Wait, we saw natural coal. <laughs> Hi, Audi. <laughs> All coal was domesticated first. That's why it's coal. Homeward Bound, club name. <laughs> Addy, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope all of you had a good weekend. Zool, how was your weekend? Slider, how about you? Casper, how are you doing? But yes, yeah, so yesterday was officially my birthday. It was pretty low key. You got the new, oh, you got a new PC, dead quiet and dead black. How does it run though? That's, I, I mean, are you going to ever be able to get freaking Vanta black though? It's crazy fast, yeah, I'll bet it is. 3070 new bot, yeah, the 3070 is now the bottleneck in the PC. Cause he took the 3070, placed it from the old computer and put it in the new computer. And now instead of everything else bottlenecking the GPU, the GPU is bottlenecking everything else. <laughs> bottlenecked, either way you'll look at it, bottleneck. Last save treatment, don't think it will amount to anything. Part of it though, Casper, I think in your, your case is with everything that's gone on recently for you, IRL, uh, you, you're carrying a lot of stress. We tend to carry a lot of that stress in our shoulders and our back, right? Well, I mean, it also, uh, yeah, well, and our, listen, yeah. No, yeah, and, and it's our blood, yeah, that's, that's true too. Stress has a very, like, mental, mental stress has a very weird effect. It manifests very weird for humans on the physical side of things, right? Cortisol is fucking, it is terrible. Actually, Zulu and I had a great, we were having a great conversation about that, like, chemical, the chemicals our bodies make and, you know, how, how they're, like, in some situations, they're fantastic for us, but in a lot of other situations, they're absolutely terrible. Cause cancer over long term, all over long enough terms. Yeah, and the thing is though, is the weird part about the cortisol, the cortisol triggers in our in our body is that physical pain and discomfort can cause a cortisol spike, right? And then you get the cortisol spike from the stress. So that constant pain cycle, right? Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Like that just that tires the body out too. All right, Casper. I'm getting that full body scan next month. To see all my damn growths. Oh my God. Yeah, it does. It does cause inflammation. It's true. 3070 is not a bad. No, no. 3070 is definitely not a bad bottom like to have. That means the rest of the PC is noise. Okay. So slider, what did you end up running in, uh, running in with on your, on your build? Like for for the CPU, what did you go with for your CPU? You went did, no 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 not price wise, components wise. What did you like? What was the CPU and the motherboard and the 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 memory set that you went with? No, I have a good idea how much it's gonna cost, right? So I'm 35. I mean, thank you. <laughs> I know what Zool's talking about. <laughs> A griefers try to come in for a landing at Lorville just before the armistice zone. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm what? I didn't say anything. I know. I just said I know what you're talking about. Yes, thank you. I am 35. I am. It's true. <laughs> I'm 35 with 16 years experience. <laughs> Ryzen 9 7950 X3D. Nice. Ooh, that's good. 
there's a group of them just hanging out by the landing zone doing circles. I reported them because it, no, 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 that is 100%. That is legit griefing because here's the thing. They shoot you down and there's nothing. They can't even, they can't, it's not even like it's piracy because they can't claim your cargo. They can't grab your cargo. So it's not even piracy. It is legitimately them hanging around Lorville being shit fucks. Okay, what are, what Steam? What are Oh, come on, Steam. Stop telling me about stuff that uh, we have on sale. Anyway, um, so a couple of things. We're doing a little bit more sponsored with uh, with Ubisoft and um, Skull and Bones. Drops should be enabled. If you don't see that, let me know. On top of that, um, the end of the week. DDR5 at 2400 sounds low. I think he means 6400. I don't think he means 2400. I think he means 6400. I'm pretty sure he means 6400. <laughs> they are nailing landing, everyone landing and taking. So they're holding Lorville hostage at this point. Ooh, the Tai Chi. That is, ooh, that the Azrock Tai Chi's are good boards. That's a nice board. That 670E, I it's got great uh, great ratings and reviews on it too. So that's how much RAM? Do you, I'm guessing you went with 64 gig. They're nailing everyone landing and taking off yet. Yeah. So you had to sell a kidney. Okay, got it. Yeah, <laughs> he he had to sell his stocks in Nvidia to buy the piece to the. <laughs> <laughs> he had to sell his stocks in NVIDIA. <laughs> he had to sell those AI stocks, you know, Chet. Um, but so, yeah, for, for the next couple of days, it was 2,700. That's actually not that bad considering right into balls. I mean, could have been worse. And look, you've got a PC that has some upgradability. And, uh, you know, so you've got it for a little bit longer, right? Um, Detroit Become Human, the Invincible, oh my god, the Invincible is down that low? Holy shit, oh, the game I really want, okay, all right, all right, so, hear me out, hear me out, oh yeah, no, I bet it does, no, it'll, it'll freaking, that, that, that single machine will chew through everything, and you can use a single machine to do it all, which is fantastic, because it's got the horsepower, um, so a couple of things, we're, we're doing some sponsor stuff with Ubisoft regarding um, Skull and Bones. Drops should be enabled. I already went and checked it. It does say it is on. So, I mean, we can hope. If it doesn't show, please, somebody let me know. Like, DM me through, you know, through through uh, through Discord and let me know if you see, if you don't see the drops or whatever. CPU rendering is so fucking... Yeah, well, and not only that, uh, the... Uh, Ryzen, the, the Ryzen 7950X should also be able to do AV1 encoding hardware, uh, like render, which is fucking redonkulous. Should be able to. Um, also, later this week, we are going to be taking a quick look at some new changes in Microsoft Flight Sim. Yes, we are going to be jumping back into the flight sim. There is a specific reason. We are going to be taking the Ornithopter from Dune for a rip. Need to, I keep it around 2K. I need 2700. <laughs> er, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we are going to actually be flying over. We're going to be doing some missions with the Ornithopter over Arrakis. It is a special little thing that they've added in from Microsoft Flight Sim. It is very well done. We are going to be... F <laughs> I like that. My OPC was so loud. I'm hearing new sounds. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I can hear. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that uh, next week. We're going to be jumping into a new survival game. It is called Winter Survival. Some of you may, have, uh, may know it. Uh, we did the prologue. I got, a, I got an early release copy. I can't do anything with it because of embargo until March 1st. So we're going to leave winter survival until next week. So that one is sponsored. I am hoping to hear back about Pacific Drive because I really badly want to play that one. But well, I, I digress. We'll just have to wait because 
you guys know, like, I'm not, I'm not averse to trying games with driving and sim-like qualities to them. I just, I, I just can't rely on American Truck and Euro Truck anymore, okay? I just can't. Can't. Last thing I want to mention. Um, surprisingly, this month we are currently sitting at the lowest subscriber count that I have seen on this channel in six years. Racing will be coming back. Uh, we, so, we are going to be jumping back into racing. Uh, I'll probably jump into WRC for a little bit first. I would like to get back into iRacing. I still have an active iRacing account. I just haven't raced in a while. Um, now, that being said, I do believe, I do believe that we have new weather systems coming in to iRacing. And this is what I've been... Yeah, I'm up. Well, I, I, it hasn't been... I still dust it. I still take the cloth and wipe it down. You know? 24-hour rain races? Let's go! Right? I'm like... Oh, let's fucking go, man. Doing Nordschleife in the rain? Come on! Yee! Yep. Uh, actually, the next... Uh, the next... Uh, for indus... Are we into season two? I think it, I think it's at season two. Weather can be done. Yeah, right. I'm so ooh, I'm so excited for it, man. I'm so excited. Weather, actual weather, affecting how you race. There's gonna be like you have to be careful of the wet line, and so it's just gonna ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, ah. Oh. oh my. Let's go. <laughs> you know. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, so it's it's not that it's no clue when. We do actually know when. That's the best part. We know when. M makes m yes, multi-tire races are going to be a huge thing. And I'm fine with that. That that is perfectly like okay. I'm here's the funny thing. It's been a year. R about a year? Roughly a year, something like that. Hi, Saracel. Since the last time we raced. Um It's been so long that even the launcher's like, hey, did you did you forget to sign in? Uh let me let me let me Yeah, remember me. And before someone drives on slicks I mean if somebody drives on slicks in the rain, that's on them. I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> it's like I need to settle on what wheel I want to replace the wheel I no longer have. Um, if you can, go with the Moza R5 bundle. Uh, my roommate has one. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> he had a wheel and he got rid of it. If memory serves correctly. If memory serves correctly. Um... I love that. Get paid to race. Yeah, um, if you're racing, but I haven't raced in a while, so. The Fanatec. I like my Moza brake. The Fanatec one was over engineered. Do you think so? Here's the funny thing my roommate has had his Moza R5 bun a wheel, and it's set up on the stand. He's had it for two weeks, hasn't used it yet, hasn't even plugged it into the computer. I'm <laughs> like, fucking what? That just the handbrake, I mean, yeah, that doesn't, yeah. He bought it. Yeah, I'm gonna steal it. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna be, you know what, one of these, I think one of these, you know what I think we're gonna do? Wednesday. So, Monday, today and tomorrow, we'll do Skull and Bones. Wednesday, we're gonna try his wheel. <laughs> we're gonna do it like this, chat. This is what we'll do. Hear me out. I have my wheel. We'll do a race with my wheel, right? And then we'll throw the camera up, we'll dismount my wheel and base, and we will try his wheel. I won't change anything else. Still the same shifter, still the same handbrake, just the wheel and the wheelbase. That's it.
Are you? Oh, they, oh, okay. Badger, who did you order the Moza R9 through? By the way, um, if you're looking, Badger, do you have Canada computers in British Columbia? Yes or no? Well, there is that. There is the, the okay. Canada Computers is a is a registered distributor for Moza in Canada. They are the only registered distributor of Moza products in Canada. Do you have any track driving IRL? Um, so believe it or not, yes, I do. Not a lot, a little bit. I had the opportunity because I grew up, I grew up in an area where there were local racetracks around us. I had one today. What a coincidence. <laughs> but um, so Friday nights, uh, we would go to a place called Grand Bend, which was about an it was about an hour south of where I live, where I used to live, um, where I grew up. Right. Um, and they had they did um, race like time time trial races. So you brought in whatever. Uh, so it was Grand Bend, Grand Bend Motorplex. Uh, there was also there's a place close to where I am now that I had done some stuff on weekends called Cayuga. Uh, and it was just like it wasn't it wasn't like cast car. It wasn't like NASCAR or anything, but it was like it was there were regulations. You had to have the safety equipment, the glass removed, things like that. But it was kind of like, you know, you, you fix up your, uh, you know, you fix up your old freaking your old Plymouth or whatever. You're, you know, you, you make sure it's got the safety cage in it and take the glass out and take all the unimportant bits out and you just race it on the track against each other. You get banged up, you get banged up, right? It was oval racing. But the G-forces are pants clear. I mean, they can be. It's, you get you get into a high bank, you get sort of freaking skunk. Yeah, cage was required. Now, Grand Bend, it wasn't because that was you were doing you were doing quarter mile times, so you were racing against times. Um, so that was more like that was drag. That was more like drag. That that'd be like you know a bunch of teenagers on a on a Friday night at an old abandoned airport kind of thing doing quarter miles. Only you're not doing slips, right? It was like straight straight up. The track was and it was open. You paid twenty dollars and you race all night. Um, but Grand Bend did have a track, but that one was more like club racing. So again, um, and there was a circuit. You had Grand Bend, you had Cayuga, you had a few others. A lot of them don't exist anymore because that was like 30 fucking years ago. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was very casual. And the rules were simple. For Grand Bend to do the Friday night, uh, uh, Friday night time trial stuff, it was your vehicle had to have uh, updated tickets, right? It had to be insured. Um, and you brought whatever you drove, your daily driver, your granny wagon, your your grocery getter, what didn't matter, right? Um, and the rules were quite simple. Um, you know, everything had to be legit. You couldn't just fucking drive in there with a car that had no fucking slips. If you didn't have paperwork to prove that you owned the car and the cor car was legit and it was your everyday getter, you weren't you did you didn't you didn't hit the track. No fucking way. Nope, not doing it. Um, but the club stuff there again, there were safety regulations that had to be met. That's why the glass was like the glass, the glass from the cars were removed. Um, you had to have the safety cage. You did have to wear like the neck brace in the freaking helmet, right? Like they were, it was again, it was to ensure safety of everybody and still make it an enjoyable event. Like you didn't have to go hard into it. Yeah, full fire suits, right? Yeah. Cause you'd be surprised how easily a car can catch on fire, <laughs> especially when you start removing parts from a fucking operational car just to slim down some weight so it can drive faster. <laughs> Shit gets crazy. Right. But yeah, like I, I, I had that. That was the one that, like it is a lot harder to get into now. And I'm sure the safety regulations and insurance is way harder. Right. But it was a lot of fun. I grew up, you got to understand, like when, when I when I came into my teen years, 
We didn't even have mobile phones. The internet wasn't even a thing yet, right? We didn't have computers in school. We didn't... Fuck, video games, we had to, like, bust out a, ro a $10 roll of quarters and go to a fucking... Go to the local arcade to hang out with the friends and play video games. You didn't even have in-house machines unless you were rich enough to own an Atari or a ColecoVision or, like, one of the original fucking, like, Macs. That's right, dinosaurs still roamed the earth and we did everything on foot. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I had to walk uphill both ways to, you know, going to school and coming home. <laughs> but no, it's true. Like, we had one phone in the house. The phone hung on the wall, you know? Like, there was no cable TV. There was no satellite television. It was all over the air. It was a fucking crazy time, man. <laughs> We knew how to converse and write. This is true. Holy shit. Face to... Yeah, so here's the thing. Chat, chat. Let me in on you. Yeah, had to push the car off the track yourself. Yep. Yeah, memorized phone numbers. Yeah, we didn't... You either wrote it down in a little notebook. You had a little black book. You're writing down your numbers. Rolodex. Who here remembers a Rolodex? I fucking remember Rolodex. Any of you old enough to remember what the fuck a Rolodex is? Because I bet you you don't. Anyone want to go to Rotterdam in June? I apparently feel like Golden Age 21 wants to go to Rotterdam for TwitchCon Europe. Mr. Shadow's like, I remember. So does Pepperidge Farms, but... <laughs> Trust me. I'm all like, I had a $1,000 reward on my first page. Wait, what? Black Book ran li I mean, it's true, right? Can't, ain't got a passport. Oh. Well, I mean, listen... Well, you could, Golden, you do realize you could probably, you you can get a passport unless you have a criminal record. Have you been doing crimes? Have you been indicted for anything? You can get a passport. You're a grown-ass adult. Well, then you can get a passport. There's, there's no special requirements other than the fact you can't have done crimes. If you're a law-abiding citizen, you're fine. Get a passport, find your birth certificate, marriage license, driver's license, any government document. Exactly. Right. I want one, just don't know how. Dude, yes. Golden, just Google, man. Google. This is one of those times where Google is your friend, man. Do it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, so yeah, I think what we will do if, if my roommate does not use his brand new fucking wheel in two in, in the next two days We will <laughs> we will Steal his wheel for Wednesday and we'll try out. Yeah, Nike's gonna see you fuck them. Who cares? You know, what? I don't care. It's Nike Take your best goddamn shot. I ain't scared of you. You know what better yet. Just give me a sponsorship. I'll shill for you. If it means that I have no no problems paying my bills for the next year, I'll shill for you. I got rent to pay. I got bills. I want to eat. I'd like to buy a car before the end of the year for myself. I'm all right with that. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into the game. Uh, as you can see, already have. Winter Survival is already installed, ready to go. Of course. Of course, it's showing the wheel cam. Can't show that. Uh, where did I put that anyway? Oh, there it is. I'm like, where is it? It's right there. Where is it? Where did it go? Skull and bones, baby. Also, I randomly have like 35 on my Steam account. Well, that's nice. Did somebody give you something for your birthday last week? Uh, where's the game? Where's the game? There it is. Hmm. Did you return a game that you didn't enjoy? Did you buy a game and it maybe went like died uh, like day before? I don't know. PCB like, do I have to do work? Hang on. Yeah, wait. <laughs> wait. 
Let me think about this. I'll be using the profits from my rust skin sales for two to three years. I mean, hey. But yeah, so again, my my birthday ended up my birthday yesterday ended up being relatively quiet. It was a good weekend. Didn't do any partying, didn't go like didn't do anything huge or massive. Um I my my oldest said, "Hey, I I do have a gift for you, but it still hasn't shown up yet." She's she ordered it online, and it still hasn't shown up, so So at some point I will be getting something. But yeah, it was it was just really super quiet. Which, you know, that's kind of expected. But again, the one thing I am the the one thing I'm going to say right now though is I am a little concerned about the fact that we are currently sitting at the lowest subscription number that I have seen on this channel in 6 years. What what are you sorry for? I had a great time with you. I enjoyed our time together. You took me out for brunch. I'm good with that. And I appreciate it. It's okay. <laughs> What with Slatter? <laughs> Slatter. What Slatter is Slatter unfollowed to refollow? Really, Slatter? Really? He's like, you're welcome. He unfollowed me to refollow. It's like every couple of months he's got to do this. I don't know why it's flashing on the store thing. I don't care because we're not doing the store thing, okay? We're not doing that. It's not happening. Well, and that's exactly it. Material isn't everything. Like, isn't, I will admit, it is nice to receive cards. It is nice to receive gifts, but I do not expect it. It is nice when it happens. I appreciate when it happens, but I do not go into situations expecting it to happen just because it's my birthday or because it's Christmas or, you know, whatever. It doesn't. That is is unimportant. I get to spend time with people. That is important, right? How you want us to pimp you? What pimp me? I mean, you can. I mean, if you guys, if you guys can find a way to jazz my corner up and pimp me out. I mean, give her. I, I'm not. I'm not afraid to you know try new things. Hammer and plunder, plunder the company settlement and seize its rare materials. Oh, the company. I mean, listen, ha ha. However you think you can, however you think you can pimp me. I mean, I'm going to say no. Search local costume shop for pirate hat. Um, not a nice one, an embarrassing one. It's funny you mention that. Uh, let's, let's. Please hold. Because we have. A nationally recognized uh, costume shop locally. Uh, yeah, Audi. Give me a second. I see nothing on screen related to drops. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that, Audi. Thank you. You're gonna love it. Nationally recognized pirate hat maker. Uh, so we actually have we we actually have a shop called McCulloch's in London, London, Ontario. Chat, not London, England. You never go full threepwood. Uh, costumes. Here we go. Uh, let's let's see let's see what they got for costumes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hats, hats, hats. What have you got for hats? Search hats online. Okay, here we go. He's talking about pirate stuff. Well, I mean, shit. Uh, ooh! Okay, come on. Really? Yarr, pirates and sailors. Cheesier the better. I mean, I could get socks that makes my one leg look up, look like a peg leg. <laughs> Yarr. I mean, we could do the... Vo oh, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, We could do the book and ear hat. That's actually not a terrible price. Chat, that's not that bad. Pirate hat with skull emblem? I mean, we can have a look. Let's, let's see what we got here. We got this one. 
That's the that's a child's hat though. That is a child's hat. Child. While I may act like a child, I can assure you I am not, in fact, a child. We've got the skimmer. <laughs> it's next to it, Columbo. Shh. <laughs> steam. What about steam? Uh, good, do, 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 here we go. Okay, hold on. Pirate hits. Let's go back to the pirate hits. Pirate hit with skull emblem. $4.99. Um, it's permafelt. I mean, it's five bucks. Get any bandana. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of rather the tricorn with the gold trim. <laughs> 22 inches wide. That's a girthy hit. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of prefer the uh, tricorn. I mean, listen, if you got, okay, first and foremost, if you guys really want to help out and we do some like costume shit, I'm down with that. I am 100% down with some costume shit. Like, but that's how we do it. We hit those goals. I will, Zool and I will, Zool, are you down for this? We go to London, we go to McCulloch's and buy a bunch of costume shit. I got to ask her. Is she down with it? I bet she's, she'll probably like, let's go now! Love bow, no, we're not doing the love bow hat. No, 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 no. No, that one I am going to fucking nix. Hell no. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Uh, definitely not the pink though. I mean, I love the sailor gob hat though. Like, you can be my first mate. Zool's probably like, and stream, and let's go, yeah, and stream, let's go now. Um, all right, so, yeah, Ch chat, I, we're, yeah, we, we have the game going in the background, don't worry about it, all right? Just, just relax, just breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's look at the Roman, Vikings, Romans, and Centurions. Black Knight helm, uh, I don't look very Black Knight, there, we got a maiden's hat. Hmm. Satiny witch hat with buck. Uh, uh, how does this have anything to do with Vikings, Romans, and Centurions? The fuck? Cleopatra headpiece. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Um, there we go. Oh. Um. Listen, we know that this is not how Vikings dressed. Okay, now mind you, I still find that hilarious and I would wear that playing freaking Valheim. I would 100% wear something like that playing Valheim. And it's only nine bucks. It is only nine dollars, chat. And again, this is a shop that is like 35 minutes away. I can drive there and buy this stuff. Physically walk into the store and buy the stuff. And I'm sure that there is a lot of stuff there because I've been to McCulloch's num num a number of times. There is always a lot of stuff there that they do not have on the website. Because they do consignment stuff too. Ahoy from Poland. Piotr, hello. Uh, we're just looking at like weird costume stuff right now. Because, you know. <laughs> Pirate cullets. I've got I've got a call it for you. Oh my. <laughs> okay, so we got the I mean, I'm not going to lie. Listen, we could Peter? Okay. I'm unsure, you know, <laughs> it's based on Shh. Listen, <laughs> I'm not nearly the fool or the idiot some of you may think. See, now this looks more traditionally like something a Viking would have worn. I smell the words. <laughs> I would wear this. I would 100% wear this. Hey, but here community things from that store 30 minutes away and send it to to the amount of his time. No. You're at, wow, Magnet 11? Good God, man. All right, anyway, we're going to get involved. We're going to get into this. Just uh, give me a quick second here. I got to 
There appears to be a wee bit of a problem, and I need to make sure. Uh, okay, so, um, Golden, thank you so much for Robocop Rogue City. Happy birthday, you filthy animal, and a happy, and a happy, happy birthday, you filthy animal, and a happy new year. <laughs> I smell of the hit and smell of dead. Hit probably smells better. Oh, hell no! You son of a bitch. Hi, Badger. All right, well, we got Rogue City. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. All right, uh, let me, where is my stuff from Ubisoft here? Just give me a moment. Okay. Mm. English? English might be hard for you, but assuring this shit is not hard for me, sir. It is not hard for me. Okay, Skull and Bone, Season 1, Twitch Drops. Here we go. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, well, uh, okay, here we go, here we go. This is why. Please be aware that while we aim to support all creator partners, the number of channels we can enable Twitch Drops on is limited to 750 creators and will be available on a first-come, first-served basis. Ahoy, pirates, to celebrate the launch of our season one and the arrival of new friends and foes in the seas of Talak Panjara, we invite you to participate in this new Twitch, Twitch Drops campaign. During the first two weeks of season one, your community will be able to receive multiple rewards while they watch you play Skull and Bones. One hour of watch time, Stern Shaw Emblem. Two hours of watch time, Memento Mori Sail Pattern. Please accept this Twitch Drops campaign before the registration close date. All right, so, aha. So it doesn't officially start until 9 p.m. my time today. You know what, fuck it. I've still got the drops enabled anyway, so it don't matter. It don't matter. You know why it don't matter? Cause it don't matter. <laughs> so when we're back in this tomorrow, drops aren't gonna be a problem. All right, let's 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 get going here. Uh, uh, F. Uh. Why? No, why? No. Okay. Controller. This is the easier way. Makes sense, sort of. It's fair for the smaller fish. Got to get the game to get the drops, I believe, at least with the next time. Uh, yeah, but you also... The other thing to uh, note about... Hi, Canadian Gamer. How are you? How was your weekend? Working and lurking. Have a good stream. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We share no common cause. Appreciate it. Okay, let's set sail. I know we can do better. Yeah, we'll be all right. Don't worry. We're, we're going to set sail here. Right. So we're supposed to be taking the compagnie. Plunder the company settlement and seize its rare metals. Plunder la colonie. Final stage. Uh, how about we uh, get... Oh, wrong one. Son of a bitch. That's the map I needed. Um, Actually, let's do... The wind is ours! No, the wind is not ours, because we're going to sit here for a minute. Weekend was good. Revisiting the, sh revisiting the shield. Good to see the series 20 years later. I'm glad that you're in, uh, you had a good weekend, though. What is this? What are, uh, what are they trying to sell me? What are they trying to sell me? Huh? Sacred plumage, ship bundle. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nice to meet you. Character bundle. Yeah. Flex and show. Emote pack. Okay. The wire, actually, you know, the wire. Dragon's flight firework. Emerald shine. Hull color. Moss and dew sail color. Okay. And, of course, currency. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that, though. Uh, map. Let's go to... Captain. We're only a... Yeah, we... Listen, I, we got some work to do, okay? I'm only a brigand, okay? I am only a brigand. Uh, let's go to journal. Uh, do, 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 do. Covert initiation. Uncover the secrets of the mysterious organization. Speak to Yanita, the barkeep, at Le Pont Mou in St. Anne. Strike the iron. Uh, Sink Compagnie Skirmishers. Okay, uh, we're going to track that one. Let's go. Okay. 
We've got one out of three. All right, let's do this. Why is an educational crash course on America <laughs> if you can get through it all? I mean, I mean, sometimes it is 12 degrees right now. It is sunny. It is beautiful where I am. It is just, oh, yeah. It's so good. It's just so good. Oh, got a lot of scumbags here. All right, all right. Nope, don't care about boarding. We ain't boarding shit. <laughs> We're not boarding shit. Let's get into it. I only needed to do three. We got, there we go. Hold on, the compagnie. Don't care. Take the enemy. Nope. You know what? Don't care. Oh, get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> Did I no No, you're a scumbag rider. I thought I thought we had already came to this understanding. You missed. You had the opportunity and you missed, bud. Time to break some skulls. I'm not boarding these. It's just not worth it. Captain, they can't match us. They are done. Woo. Okay. There we go. Uh. What's your name, scumbag? <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Look at the Raiders, We're just gonna you know, nicely collect all the loot. Now we just gotta go back to uh, the blacksmith and, uh, you know, talk to the mints. We're gonna go talk to the mints. Okay, so, um,. Like I said, uh, Thursday and Friday, though, uh, we are going to be jumping back into Microsoft Flight Sim for a little bit. We're going to take a look at the planet Arrakis uh, and the uh, the nice little bit that they've added for um, the anniversary of Dune. Uh, we are going to take a I'm really kind of interested in uh, flying the Ornithopter. That is that is a sci fi craft that I've always hoped that I would have the opportunity to just kind of like try to f like to fly it in a game and now that I have that as an opportunity we're fucking doing it I'm breaking out the flight gear we're jumping in we're gonna mess around because the one thing I want to try is and we've seen it in the movies they're flying the ornithopter they come up and they kick the wings back they fold the wings back and just dive the thing like a freaking missile I want to do that I want to do that because that is going to be just so unbelievably fun to try. Uh, Golden Age 21 again. Thank you so much for the copy of Robocop Rogue City. <laughs> that are alive. You are coming with me.
hammer strike, the blacksmith breaks the chains of his past. I just, the, the music in this is just so... Uh, All right, so that man is having a bit of a problem. Well, man, close servers because of, oh, your servers just went down. Oh, th see, that's got to be a regional thing. Like I'm, in, I'm in Canada, so. The gang wants to tear the fruit apart, Captain. So as you can see, I'm uh, definitely so the the servers rolling over it, it, at midnight. That's got to that's got to be a regional thing. And I mean, we know that that happens too, right? Like that—that that is something that very frequently happens. So, little mem leak, yeah, yeah. Midnight, you mean? Yep. Should we optimize or just restart? Sometimes you just have to restart though too, right? And and slider, we're we're very familiar with this, right? That's right, fuck it, restart them. Sometimes. Sometimes a restart, you just give it the old kick and restart, reboot, you're good to go. Right? This is one of those times that it, I again I'm glad that we're I, I'm I'm starting to utilize Oh, I mean, I've got a lot of time then. <laughs> I got no worries, because it is currently it is three uh, three ten p.m. where I am, or fifteen ten or you know fifteen ten hundred hours. So, fifteen ten hundred hours. How you want to do? How you want to do? Fifteen ten. There you go. I forgot. The music is is amazing in this. Like. Monster armor, new weapons, maybe ships. I mean, you know, like if they're already adding stuff in for season one, that's actually kind of cool. Now, I know a lot of people might be rather confused because, you know, I, I've already been playing this far longer than the game has actually technically been out. But I also got early access as one of the as a Ubisoft partner. So uh, let's check our good old mate. Oh, there we go. Son of Liberty. Here we go. There we go. Getting all my stuff, the Enchantress. <gasps> Ooh. I'm getting all my goodies, chat. Sirens Embrace, Lola. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mmm. Kaylee. Not my Zen thing, man. Hi, Kaylee. I forgot I had Renew enabled. <laughs> Kaylee, thank you so much for the tier one for 10 months. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Hope you're well. Are you surviving the warm weather yet? Are you getting used to it? Oh, uh, what the? Oh, uh, we're just gonna, no, we're just gonna put that in the warehouse. Let's go. S plus 60 abaca. Mmm. All right. Well, we're, we're good with the meal. Let's go. Okay. Let's, uh, talk to our, uh, nice lady here. Welcome, Access Captain. my warehouse. Yeah, Taking don't. or leaving? Uh, le we're leaving a bunch of stuff because I don't need all this. Get your answer. Um, Farah Odi. Ah, we do need that though. The ale. Man, we're just gonna transfer that. Clothes. Transfer that. Tobacco. We're just gonna transfer all the commodities for now. Uncut garnet. Yeah. Uh, oh no, I need the uncut garnet. Shit. Cogwill like though. To sell again. In Zanjiao. There's a reason I have the uncut garnet right now. My jute.
Rockets. Yeah, we can get rid of that. I'm not using any goddamn rockets. Eh, grilled fish. We okay, there we go. Boom, done. Kickity. safely, Captain. Armor Guardian. Ooh. I haven't, so as you can see, like, I'm, I'm currently, I'm, I'm like level four, maybe level five. Get paid on Thursday. That's nice at least. What are you playing? What are your plans uh, after you get paid? Do you have any plans? Are you going to buy yourself that camera you were talking about? What can I smith for you, Captain? Contract complete. They'll steer clear for now. Also, no, it's 75 Fahrenheit and I'm sweating bullets. All I did was walk formation and wait 15 minutes. Jesus. Yikers. Um, right. Uh, let's talk to the ship right here. Don't go so. Your uh, vessel could use improvements. Oh, uh, listen, you just never mind about my vessel, okay? You just leave my vessel out of this. Okay, so we're currently we're currently using the rammer. We're using the Bidar. Um I need fine hemp and lime. Because I kind of want to get into the blaster. I, I want to get into this one. Like, move up. Now, that being said... I can you want this one, the Vanguard? I really want the Brigantine. I want the Brigantine. This thing... Whoo, Yes, please. I did get new shoes yesterday. Roommate was talking about go, probably going to the gym later today. Sounds like a good time. May your ship serve you well. Sounds like a good time to me. All right. Um, man, what the? You know, I don't know. Um, no, we're not. No, stop distracting me, game. No, no, you're not allowed. You would have listened. You wouldn't even be here to speak about these things. I'm going to leave you with the screen for a minute. I'm going to go refill my cup of coffee by the way that was courtesy of my oldest daughter that was a gift from her <laughs> do I look like I care and in the bottom nope <laughs> nope uh, so yeah what I'm going to do can I move my camera there we go we're just gonna move the camera around okay only well, you guys just sort of sitting here with the break screen for a few minutes okay all right so a little bit of music on for you. And I'll be back in a moment.
Hi, chat. We're back. Hello. Hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm allowing that. There we go. There. We're allowing that. Like you're starting to get the hang of things. <laughs> Yeah, nobody wants a douche on- nobody wants a douche on the ship, okay? <laughs> oh, no, 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 shit, I just- okay, whoa, 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 wait, hold on, hold on, we need to dis disembark. I got a bunch of new freaking stuff for the ship, so we got- we got to check the new stuff for the ship, okay? Just hold on for a second, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's go back. Hold on, that- that guy- I got completely distracted, I'm gonna manage the ship now. Let's go to the cosmetics. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, I got the content creator set. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Her voice is so soothing. Uh, that works for me. Yep, we're good. Okay. <laughs> However, I don't think that- wait, well, okay. I got- I did get new shoes yesterday, roommate was talking about- to go, However, I don't think that's happening. He had a, uh, he had rail detail and hasn't replied to me, so I think he's busy. That doesn't mean you couldn't go, uh, to the gym your- like, go and work out yourself, though, either. But trust me, be- Don't be afraid to, like, go and work out on your own, right? Like, that- that's the other thing, too, like- uh, hammer and plunder, plunder the company settlement. Uh, we're not gonna go and do that. Uh, nah, you know what? We're not doing that with this ship. Maybe. Uh, cutthroat secrets. Locate agent stash. Together information. You know what? We'll do that one. Let's, let's do that one. Okay. Read the treasure map. Officers in coast of Africa and Ziwakuba remaining remain trusting and unaware of any subterfuge. I have much to share. Please seek out golden sunken golden mine. Okay, sunken golden mine, huh? I see fog, Captain. Uh, all right. Um. Where in the hell is that then? Ziwa Kubwa. Come all you young sailormen, listen to me. Uh in the safe and it's windy weather. Don't do it for that what do you, don't do what for whom? Oh you yeah, okay. I know what you mean now. I know what you mean now. My brain just for a second there went, eh. Oh. Yeah, because we were moving because dad, dad wasn't paying attention. Dad wasn't paying attention. Alright, so if that is We are in danger! Call for help! Nope, don't care. Don't care if you're in danger. It's not my problem right now. My problem is trying to stay off the rocks for a few. While I try to figure out.
Is it? Oh, please tell me this isn't over on the other side like the Naga. No, it's not the Naga Sea. No. That's gotta be. You don't need a license to sail. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> you don't need no damn license to sail. Let's follow the wind. Sails, we've got company. Captain, on our bow. That's right. You can dive freely in the water. That's right. See, Slatter knows what I'm talking about. Look, a fleet. Don't care about the fleet. Don't care. Not interested. Oh, I have to dock. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, we'll we'll do this then. Release the sails. You can't go into shipping lanes in port area, sure, but I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> it's like other than that. Damn, my boat looked pretty. I love my. I love the way my ship looked. Now this is beautiful. This should be. This ship is beautiful. I love it. Mmm, look at this thing. Look at it, it's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, it's absolutely is not gorgeous. The only place in the ocean to snare prey. Eat your fill. Keep up your strength. Face wide off! ATT gives five bucks to everyone who is out. Yeah, right? Yeah, I know. For how long everyone had those problems, and all they got was five dollars, a five dollar credit on their next bill. You've got to be kidding me. And it didn't just affect people's like personal lives. It affected 911 service calls and everything. Like, holy shit. Based on their payments, that's fair. What was their bill? But it's not like it was just down for like an hour or something. It's not like the service was down for an hour. What's the damages per hour? I'll, that I don't know. That I don't actually honestly know. But I don't think five bucks is fair enough compensation for for the amount of time that 18, like that. And, and it wasn't just at t though. There were other services, right? People can sue, but expecting mass payout tied to no numbers is crazy down. Oh, I, that I understand, but if somebody did the math, though, you already know exactly what's going to happen. at and be like, no, that can't be right, even though they probably have the same numbers. I'm like, yeah, we're not, no, no, we're not paying that much. Are you fucking kidding me? Like here, when uh, when we had the problem with uh, Roger's internet cable and mobile services, it's actually the reason why my roommate and I switched our internet service provider, got rid of cable, and uh, he switched his mobile provider because it was it was it was a problem for a week um and all they did was they off they they offered a ten dollar credit to 30 but well no what was it uh 17.8 million customers if your bill is 50 bucks two days of outage so again, what's his what's this random damages multiplier? It's not random when you think about the fact that it affects 911 service as well, which means police, emergency services, ambulance, fire can't aren't receiving calls. So what's the damages to somebody who who doesn't who can't make the 911 call to get an ambulance because they're dying of a heart attack? What are the damages when somebody loses their home because 911 services are down and you can't get fire, right? No, and yes, exactly. You can't quantify that. Exactly, right? And you know what? Like, I do understand, right? These issues have a history of pay, uh, payout levels versus ATT is down. And understandably so. And I see what you're saying, but... Five bucks. Uh, it's, 
But you got to think though, is if if they if they're just calcing it right down to the second, purely based on well our service was down, the average bill is this, so that means we only owe everyone this amount. Is also a little right. That's how they do it. Ask, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Comcast is notorious for or Cox. They owe you downtime. That's it. Yeah, well. Yeah, it is. It, un, it is unfortunate that that's how business functions too, right? Like it's. I mean, it's to the dime on two days. That doesn't necessarily make it painful, but. Like, look at, I mean, look at how the, all the problem that sports fan has currently been having, having in Texas, like where he lives in Texas with the, with his, with his service, right? Like it, he's, he's been down for two fucking weeks, two weeks. Oh, hold, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, phone is ringing. I need to land. Yes. Landline. I still have a landline. Just a del Amazon delivery for my roommate. Two weeks of outage on a fifty-dollar plan is twenty-two point uh, twenty-two fifty, right? Assuming thirty-one, of course. Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. I have a batch of chili going right now that is in the slow cooker. Uh, that smells incredible. And uh, the one thing that I did differently with this batch. So I added a half tablespoon of baking soda to cut the, uh, the acidity down. It tastes so much fucking better. Holy God, something that simple. Half a tablespoon to the entire crock pot of chili. I watched it foam a little bit, and now that the now that it's like it's neutralized that freaking oh, he's so good. It's so much better now. I can take there's like you can actually taste the chill like the chili pepper and the the garlic and the onion in it. It's just oh, oh so no. fucking good now. I just because I after I uh, after I received the order for my roomie, I put it on the counter. I was like, okay, I got to stir the chili anyways, right? Pop the pop the lid, and it just smells so aromatic, right? Like you get that little bit of garlic and onion, just and the and the chili powder, just like the 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 chilies, just like right in the nose, and it's just like, oh, that smell! It like even smells better. And I'm like, something so simple, something so simple, as adding. Like a half a tablespoon of baking soda. You wouldn't think it, but remember, baking soda is a base. It neutralizes acids. If you like chili, you love the taste of chili, but you have a problem eating it because it's very acidic because, you know, tomatoes, very, very acidic. Best thing you can do. Don't add sugar. Don't add chocolate. Mind you, 
dark chocolate or adding like a, uh, a brown sugar can actually enhance the flavor of everything. It doesn't do anything for the acidity. I'm telling you, just a, just just half a tablespoon. Now that is for the entire crock pot, right? Or go molasses. Yeah, you could do molasses as well, right? You could also do molasses as well, and it would also, again, it would cut down that uh, acidity, right? Or if you wanted to add that little bit of sweetness. Early in the morning, hail up she rises, hail up she rises. Hail up she rises, early in the morning. Put them in the scuppers with a hose pipe on them. Put them in the scuppers with a hose pipe on them. Put them in, in the scuppers and a hose pipe. Ginger molasses. Oh, good God, yes. Hill up, she. Oh, sheep. shit. Our sheep will be right in that gale. Nope, we're good. Don't worry. Just listen, we just nudged a rock, okay? I'm not sure what's going on over here, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Need more random atolls and rings, underwater danger. There's a lot of underwater danger, and you can't actually damage your ship by sailing into shit, including other ships. You don't know. You're not on my boat. True Rider's sitting on shore, playing with his dick. True Rider doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He's not on the ship. I mean, we seem to be sailing underwater danger. That's what I call my back. Listen, just because you have a few nuggets floating doesn't mean it's underwater danger, okay? You're reading too much into it. True Rider's back on, uh, back on shore, you know, spanking it. Yeah, we'll grab the Yoroko. More, more of a jetsam. <laughs> Is it jetsam or flotsam? <laughs> Let's go. Jetsam is still thrown, Flotsam is the shipwrecked. I mean, you know. <laughs> that's why the nugget are that's why the nuggets are Jetsam. Okay, fair, fair enough. You know. <laughs> Jetsam is still thrown. Fought so much story. <laughs> oh, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, for those of you who catch this VOD when it's uploaded to YouTube, I can't apologize for my Twitch community, okay? I, I can't. And the only thing I can suggest is you need to come over to Twitch and join us in the shenanigans, okay? And that it, yeah, <laughs> three wood covers a, it, it a bit. I mean, you know, three p wood, three wood, just an example. Uh, but yeah, that's also something I'm gonna just throw that little uh, nugget out for everyone. Is uh, it's a good word for ejecting anything, in my honest. Uh, okay, but yes, uh, these. So my Twitch streams do get uploaded to YouTube. I just throw them through a quick little uh, edit to just scrub things a little bit and clean up the audio, and then I post them on you on my YouTube channel as well. So, but the main bulk of the content is created here on Twitch. Okay, all right. I feel like I need to have this up in the. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna no. 
No, maybe we will do that. There we go. Camera has been moved. Camera has been moved because now you can see what's going on. You just don't get to see my lemur as much. can't see my ringtail. <laughs> Reported lemur jokes. I mean, listen. <laughs> Royal burial ground, huh? I have a feeling that this is where we're supposed to be. So, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna check. But I think this is where I'm supposed to be for... Seek out the sunken gold mine. So this, you know, we'll grab more cannonballs because you never have too many balls. You can never have too many balls, Chet. Checkpoint. <laughs> uh, what do we got up here? Okay, what is what are we're looking for okay, so we're looking for the stone marker. That looks like a sea turtle. Got more cannonballs, right? Okay. Uh nope. So we're looking for a stone marker, huh? Okay, well, we're also going to throw some powder. Excuse me, sir. Can you throw the powder on the bonfire, please? Thank you. Solid lag on that. On the checkpoint? I know there was. Okay, well, we got the stamina boost. Woo! Jeez. I want the music on the boat, the singing, to be loud, not everything. It's like, god damn. You didn't need to hear anything, right, chat? Y'all don't need to hear. Yeah, I don't know what's actually, believe it or not, I have no idea what is causing the lag on the uh, sound effects. I haven't moved the folder. Everything is in order there. Like, I really don't get it. It doesn't make any flipping sense. Uh... Do, 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 do. Oh, all right. Hold on. Phone's ringing again. Don't recognize the number. Don't care. If it's important, they can leave a goddamn message. That's what voicemail is for. Um, hmm. Okay, well, we'll grab that. So, this, I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not seeing anything that screams, you know, like, hey, um, uh, Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing a goddamn thing here. Uh, why are there stairs here and I can't? Alright, um... Okay, 
so we have this odd I have no idea who that individual is or why they're doing whatever they're doing. Although, ah, shit, I didn't want to pick those up. I'm not using a bombard. The hell would I pick up bombard bombs when I don't use a bombard? Um, right, so. It's the third party service, I assume. The thing is, though, is the only, the only connection We'll pick up the fine jute, though. Um, the only connection Talk to me if you is to Twitch. Like it'd be the um, the the um, the lag would be Twitch because I don't use any other like I use everything is local on my PC. The bot is a piece of software that is run locally on my PC. I don't use a cloud service for that. Um, same with like the sound effects are local on my PC. They are in a specific folder. They are held locally. The commands are all done. Lo the only the only third party service would be Twitch. That would possibly cause that to lag out that way, which is very unusual. So, yeah, what the f If our enemies hold no honor, then it is time we equal them. Uh, that's great, but I can't find what I need. We have to catch up. Okay, um... Uh, no, we're not gonna fast travel. Hmm. We're gonna sit here for a minute, though. Right, so... Look at the map, Capitaine! That Azov Skolov left us a trail! We should study the note from Skolov's agent if we want to find the traitors. Ah! So. Okay, so if we look at that, then we look here, right? So that means it should be in around here, but we're not finding it, which is very, very odd indeed. And the only thing I can think of, but that doesn't make sense of it being in up and around here at all. Because again, that serves no purpose. <sighs> I might have to just explore some like Sultani Island. Oh, maybe Sultani Island? I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know. Like, we got this little bit down here. The oh, that's for the Ukta. Uh, Kuta. No. Uh, Ichuta. Dani. Ichuta. Yeah, we're not doing the Ichuta thing. Um. Nope, that's definitely not it. I mean, it wouldn't be St. Anne either, because that doesn't make any damn sense. Yeah, a co I, I, I'm not worried about a covert initiation here. We're trying to find shit on the map, okay? Just, shh, 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 stop, stop it. Lenitra. It is definitely not from Lenitra. Yeah, that's not from around Lenitra. Like the the only this looks like. Hmm. Time to go. Raise her up. I don't know. I don't know, chat. If you guys have any 
if there is anybody who can sort of point me in the right direction, don't don't give me exact exactly what I'm looking for. Just like, hey, you might want to look here. I'm open to that. Just don't tell me exactly where it is. Because if you it, like, listen, I, I like to discover some things. Just point me in the general direction, you know. I kind of felt like we were in the right place. Apparently, we're not. And I'm like, well, come on. Like, it's definitely not a, any of the internal stuff either. Like, it's just not. You accept all? Exactly. I will accept a little bit of assistance. Don't backseat me, though. Okay, we're put. I see a settlement. Uh, let's 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 kill the sail for a minute here because we're gonna put this down. Going down. Uh. Our hold is not overfilled. I don't know what this man's talking about, but we're definitely not overfilled. With all haste, raise the sail. Eat that meal, maybe you're lost. Definitely uh, not overflowing in the hold. Anyway. Just looked at Winter Survival on the same page. It gives me, yes, uh, definitely. We did the prologue. Uh, we played the uh, Winter Survival Prologue about a year ago. A year ago? Uh, not quite that long. Maybe nine months ago. Alright, so... River Mouse. We're definitely it's definitely not the River Mouse region, but Okay, we're just gonna sort of sail here for a second while I read this. Cutthroat secrets. Details. I'm not, I mean, that's, that's cool. Locate agents tra uh, stash to gather information about Skrlock's traders. Imagine the, uh, examine the agent's clues to locate the stash, right? So it's like, okay. Um, that's awesome. Right, so all the sheets. Don't let her drift. Button the hatches. Hi Kaylee. Casually gets random video on Millennial versus Gen Alpha on things like how do you answer the phone? How do you open the car window? With the like gesture related to it. Interesting to see. Captain, we cannot carry that much. We don't have that much. Shut your pie hole. We're fine. Holy hell. Dismance. Loot the jute! Loot the jute! Rock out! Get to work! Nicely done! That goes in the hole! <laughs> Gen Alpha suck! Dude, again, here's the thing. The funny thing is, we always have this weird... Um, like these, these weird generational, like freaking gaps, these weird generational disputes. The thing is though, is we have to understand that not every generation sucks. Boomers used to hate on Gen X. 
We were fighting with gen we were fighting with boomers before the rest of you were, right? I asked my mom's friend and she said we were great. You guys were easy. And that's the thing. So Gen Xers think millennials suck. Um, right? Millennials think Gen Z sucks. Gen Z now thinks Gen Alpha sucks. The funny thing is, though, is no matter what, we did, now, there is a large difference. We did, we were taught to respect adults. We were taught to respect our teachers. Those who had life experience, we did not. It is true. And the downside is, though, is that actual life experience is not drawn on enough anymore. There are a lot of there are a lot of people who do not draw from someone who might have 10 years extra life experience over top of you. We don't draw from that anymore. We don't we don't respect somebody who's lived a certain lifestyle far longer than we've existed. And it, it, it is kind of a shame, right? It's also interesting to see how the act of playing games has changed. At a con for, I believe uh, it was Minecon, a developer I follow had a keyboard and controller out. Keyboard didn't get used that much, so they just got another controller. Then some kids went to touch the screen instead. Well, and some of that is because of the, the technological change, too, right? Like, well, in the 90s, we were mar oh, we were the mocked minority. Oh, yeah, and now it's mainstream, yeah, yeah. No, every, yeah, everything we do now is 100% mainstream, that's true. The comic books, yep, the sci-fi, yep, D&D, &D, mainstream, all of it mainstream. We we did. Slider and I did grow up as as those kids in high school that were mocked for liking the things that we liked. We were bullied, we were harassed, we were pushed into lockers. I had my nose broken twice in high school from somebody pushing my face into a locker. I didn't go run into the principal's office about it either. I dealt with it, right? We, okay, so here's the thing. You know why, you know why a lot of people say, hey, uh, nobody picks on Gen Z? Because we were the generation that grew up around find, uh, fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. Go ahead. If you wanted to talk shit about someone, you had to do it to their face. You couldn't hide behind a screen. You couldn't send an anonymous text through a fucking app. You wanted to talk shit to someone, you had to do it to their face. You had no protection. Oh, and you did. If you talk shit, expected to get hit. It was gonna happen. People were gonna throw hands, but we threw hands. We didn't freaking, we weren't shanking people. We weren't using firearms. We weren't using yet weapons. It would be like a quick little scuffle. You throw hands and generally the beef was sorted. The beef was sorted. That was it. It was done. I can remember getting into a scrap with people I had gone to high school with, you know, and we were of drinking age. We'd be sitting down having a beer, and all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I'm out in, the, out in the street on the curb throwing hands, and then after throwing hands, we're sitting down having a beer like nothing ever happened and getting along fine. It was dealt with. There was no hard feelings. I didn't take it personally. They didn't take it personally. We were fine. We got along. We sat, yep. Yeah, you take a few shots, it ended, you sat down, you had a drink together. Beef settled, done, no more. There was no mocking on either side. Nobody got butt hurt about it. Nobody went screaming to the cops like, oh, he abused me, he assaulted me. No, we threw, it was a quick little scuffle. You might have like a bit of a fat lip for like two days, right? You might've ended up with a little bit of a bru a little bit of bruising around your freaking cheek, right? For the most part though, yeah, yeah, but there there were people who, yes, Slider is correct. There were people who got butt hurt, still got butt hurt, but it wasn't a default state. Exactly. It wasn't everybody was always butt hurt all the time. Like it was a completely different time, right? And you know what? I can't, I appreciate the fact that I grew up during that time. Problems got solved so, shit was resolved so much easier. It was insane how easy it was to resolve situations with other people. He hurt me, how did he hurt you? My feelings, actual thing I heard. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I can't tell you how many times I had my feelings hurt uh, as a teenager. Yes, civil conversation. 
And that was something that I distinctly remember being able to do in high school as well. Have civil conversations with other people. Not agreeing. We didn't have to agree. We didn't even have to see eye to eye on, on, on what we were discussing. But people weren't shitty about it either. Yeah, you can discuss the facts, you can't change feelings. That, that and yeah, that, that, that is, therein lies the problem, right? I was interested in debate classes and I saw people in there. The issue with debate class, debate class went from, again, I'm, I'm going to use my own experience from when I was in high school. In high school, debate class for me was, we debated factual information, data. We debated data, right? Sometimes data from one source did not agree with data from another source, but we debated utilizing actual proper information in data. The downside was debate class became debating opinion and feeling. It, it was critical thought. Debate class taught us critical thought. Got that? The wind helps our sales. Right. That's what ethics classes are for. Leave it out. Leave it out of a debate. Oh, I'm not wrong. We just disagree. Oh no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. And I mean, there there can be. That's the thing. Is there are points sometimes even in in an in actual intellectual debate where one person is wrong. They're citing incorrect sources. They're not using you know current current data sets to to show their point for something so yes they are wrong factually incorrect and factually wrong but then they get butt hurt because they've been proven wrong so that's where the feelings come in and then all of a sudden it is no longer it, it, it degrades itself from being an intellectual debate and an intellectual pursuit to discuss matters of opinion like matters of opposition covers my skin to, Perhaps well, you, you said I was wrong and that made me feel bad. So now I have to, you know, freaking destroy you. Yeah, it's you can't cite Wikipedia. No, cited sources, Gen Alpha Lost Art, right? Socratic dialogue versus arguments. Oh, thank you for saying that, Slider. Thank you so much for saying that. Okay, so here's the thing. You guys are probably like, he's not doing anything. You're right. I'm not. Why? Because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with this? Oh, shit. Sorry. Ah, I didn't mean... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bump into you. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm Julius! Release the sails! Nope. They are watching us! I didn't mean to bump you. Jesus. We are having a conversation. You got my way, dingus. <laughs> Shit. I love hearing people's opinions on things like this. I find it so interesting. So this whole generational thing, like, uh, you know, like, oh, okay, boomer. Okay, you know, Gen Xer or, you know, you know, freaking millennials are, are lazy. All of this, like all of these. Again, this is just a division point and it serves no purpose other than to keep people fighting with each other. I'd listen to Gen Alpha's points, but they can't make one. Now that being said, again, Millennial War ninety schooled. It still had track. It did still have traction then. Yes. Um. And here's the thing, though. Like my kids are Gen Z. Both of my daughters, they're Gen Z. While they are both unique, I'll tell you one, the, a couple of things. Number one, they can both write. Number two, they can both read. And I made sure that I taught both of them how to properly research things for school. Proper research. But again, that came down to me. I, I did that because I wanted them to be ahead of their peers. Because I did I did for them what my father did for me. Right? I did for them what my father did for me. Right? And that's the other key to it. I taught that I, I taught them at home certain skill sets that I know that my father taught me at home. I didn't get it from school. I didn't get it from a teacher. I didn't get it from a book. I got it because my father passed on these skills to me. Right? Yes, and some wit. I mean, 
Okay, Zool is still here and got her ears on. Uh, she found exactly, she found out exactly how close my oldest daughter is to me in this, in the essence of wit and comeback. And how very cerebrally she plays it, how intellectually she plays it. Like, like, you know, your brain takes a moment to even process that you got dissed. Words good, layered, yes. Very much so. <laughs> Like, there are times where your brain, you, you, like, she'll say something, your brain stops. Because you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> she's, kid is, the kid's not even quite 18 yet, and she's mastered this shit. And, say, and again, it's actually quite, quite, quite hilarious because it's very similar uh, when talking to my youngest daughter, who's 15. Okay, so... That is surely an outpost. I don't care about the outpost. I need to... Don't forget to resupply. <sighs> Where in the fuck is this place? Okay. You know what? Like, somebody help. That's surely an outpost. But what if it's not? I mean, it could not be. That, uh, that is very possible. Okay, we're, we're gonna head this direction for a little bit because I need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Dad needs help. And I don't need me, I don't mean professionally. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hang here for a second, okay? We're just gonna hang here for a second. Here's, here's what dad's gonna do, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cheat. By cheat, I mean I'm gonna look it up, okay? All right, dad is gonna look it up, chat. Cause I bet you somebody's already got a posted somewhere. Oh, look at that. It just automatic agent locate the agent stash. Checkpoint. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Examine the treasure map. Already did that. Okay. It was where I thought it was. <sighs> Son of a bitch. People going to Harvard with no writing skills. Yeah, even Ivy School League schools have been blunted. It's true. I found it thoroughly interesting that a friend of mine that came with me to reception here didn't know how to log out of a computer. Wait, excuse me? What? How do you not know how to log out of a computer? Pardon me? So Chad, are you guys, listen, listen, I, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna keep asking this. I'm gonna keep pimping myself out, okay? That is the goal. These are the channel goals. Th these are the community goals. These are never changing. This is how we're gonna do it from this point on. These are how we're going to, you know, uh, upgrade equipment and things like that. These days it's just sad. Just fucking Google it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's, that's exactly it. Like you can't. Entire repository of the world at your hands. You have to ask others how to do the basics. Right. I'll dip some toes into that goal. So, here's the thing. It's already been mentioned, and I would actually like to do this because I think it would be a lot of fun. There is a costume shop local to me. I would like to be able to use the goals to then add some costume things like a freaking pirate hat. Or a captain's hat. Or a pilot's helmet. Do you, are you feeling what I'm putting out now, chat? Are you feeling me now? Uh, dude, card catalogs? Oh my... Wow, way to make a guy feel old, Slider. You know, wait, 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 way to poke... Way to poke Papa Bear at age 51 to make me feel even older than I already do by saying card catalogs to write papers. Yeah, uh, that would be Burke Black, Kaylee. You're talking about Burke? Versus Google and quote? Yeah. They taught you a ton because you had to go through parallel information and read critically. Yes! Burke Black. 
it, okay. Kaylee, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm here. I'm gonna make a suggestion. Stop watching the stream for a moment. Type in Burke, B U R K E space black, or just do it as one word. This man is amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing, incredibly entertaining. There, thank you. There you go. Audi, Audi already gave it to us. Audi, thank you for for shouting out Burke. If you ever want to watch somebody who does the whole pirate thing and is an amazing entertainer, incredibly intelligent, very well spoken, and very fun, very positive, Burke is your that that's your go-to. Go to. Holy. Burke is so good. <laughs> Holy. Yar har. That's right. Welcome to the Pirates. Chat interaction friendly community. Okay, so I know where I'm going now. Oh, super down to earth despite his success. Yes. He's uh, he's one of those people so um like Hunter Wild has sent people over to him because he like Tiger Rider. He and Tiger Rider know each other personally, right? So again, really good wholesome content, really down to earth human being. I do know the destination, yes. Uh I have not mapped the destination, but I <laughs> I fucking knew it was over here near I had an idea it was over here and that uh, as soon as I saw the map I was like yeah okay that's where I thought it would be so I'm just trying to get us so I can down around river mouths and we're gonna cut straight across and that's okay because this allows me to get some of the materials I need for um, uh, to be able to uh, get my upgraded ship The mega corporations think they own the Indian Ocean. That's why we pirates need to remind them who owns the seas. Right. So, uh, we should be able to. Not quite. Not quite. We're not quite there yet. Actually, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. We're going straight across. F this. <laughs> We're cutting right across now. That's it. We're just... Yeah. But yeah, so the whole idea of that goal, though, is... We'll, we'll end up, uh, up you know... Um, it, and I'm sure I can probably get Zool on board with this. Uh... Go to London, hit McCulloch's, buy some costume stuff, and then be able to do, like, some actual, like, really freaking cool stuff. Like, if we're doing Flight Sim um, or, like, DCS World or something, like, throw on, like, a pilot, like, a, like a pilot's hat or some shit, right? Like, and hopefully you guys are down for this because I'm down for this. I mean, it's a lot better than just wearing a damn unicorn onesie all the time. <laughs> Got to switch it up, man. We got to keep switching it up. That's all there is to it. Just switch it up, switch it up, switch it up. Maybe a sexy flight attendant? No, no. I'm not doing the sexy flight attendant. And the only, listen, the only person who's getting the sexy flight attendant is, is, is my significant other. Surgeon simulator when? I mean, all don't I just have to just put a mask on and like one of those weird little freaking caps? I'm definitely not doing surgeon simulator. Hell no. <laughs> everyone is a surgeon. Not everyone is. <laughs> I mean, I can cut meat. That doesn't mean I'm a good surgeon. <laughs> I can cut into the meat. It doesn't mean I'm going to be good at it. You want that removed? Sure, let's go. Yep. Sure. I've got a chainsaw. <laughs> Listen, it'll be removed. It's not going to be clean. It's us up there. You might be traumatized, but you know what? Hey, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll remove it. It's fine. Yeah. Z Ray, it's two more of the next. <laughs> Shit. Well, <laughs> it's like driving. I can do it, just not legally or maybe well. See? Exactly. Kay See, Kaylee gets it. Kaylee, Kaylee gets it. Hey, wait. Kaylee, don't. 
Don't you need to actually be able to drive as part of your job in the military? Is that not actually a thing? Military don't care if you have a license. I mean, well, there's that, but... I mean, for me, it's not really under my job title. MP ain't gonna ticket. I mean, it's, are you sure? I'm pretty sure they might. Uh, nope, don't care. You're on your own. Nope. Really don't care. Must be seat belted in war zone or you get a ticket. <laughs> Everything's walking distance except the main post stuff, but there's a small mini mall. Nice 30 minute walk away. So effectively what you're saying is you have a Canex. I.e. Uh, that is uh, the uh, the military the military store, right? And you get everything at a discount because you're a service member. Pretty deep discount, if I remember correctly, for a lot of pretty good stuff. Deep discounts, bad club name. I mean, shh. no. No, deep discounts. I like that. That 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 is a that is a club name. Let's go. I see an outpost, Captain. Captain, on our bow. Captain, an outpost in the distance. Over yonder. Company com uh, camp, huh? Gas station coffee. Found this vanilla coffee that I really liked at the gas station as well. <laughs> gas station coffee. God, let me send you some. Never say that again. There's a commotion. Look Slider's like, I'll pay. <laughs> Holy hell. Dear God, dear God, it's a fucking cry. Uh, you know, Slider, I'm not going to disagree with you on that. I'm definitely not. Definitely not going to disagree with you on that. Uh, we're going we're gonna to grab this, uh, this ship's freaking loot here because, you know. Bombard bombs. Ugh. Oh, balls. Level four though. Patrolling. That's a man I wish I that that's a man I wish I had 7-Eleven coffee low for the moment of your life. <laughs> I'm scared. How often is the machine clean? Ooh, that's a good question. Oh. The employees generally don't know. Yeah, that's the even scarier part. Because usually the employees aren't the ones that clean the machine because the machines aren't even actually the owned by the business. They're actually owned by a service, which is even more terrifying. Oh, what are you? Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Amber green. Yeah, we'll take that too. Repair kit too. Sure. Yeah, cannonball crate. Sure. And the rest of it is just junk. Okay. Let's go and raise the sails. Yep, big, ba yep, bad sign. A vendor don't care. Clean when complaint. Yeah, clean when complaint. Unfortunately, it, uh, it's scary that that's how it is with some of these. Set her free. All uh, right. Um, looks like. Uh, no. You know what? We're gonna do this. Okay. Uh, what is that? We're just gonna uh, we're just gonna poke our way through here because I want to scan and get some some information while I'm here. I've only had the coffee twice. It, uh, it was also out here, 
Only had it in Missouri. Oh, like soda lines at cheap restaurants? Honestly, I genuinely fear them. Yeah, I don't I don't tend to get I, I definitely don't tend to uh, pick up coffee at a gas station. Just as a rule. Now, that being said, I mean, I'm not saying that. Uh, uh, Kaylee, is the gas station that you're talking about on base or is it off base? Let's see. If, let, let's make this determination. Is it on base or off base? Opens uh, opens a pour over place near it. <laughs> cleans up. I don't know which would be better. I'm scared. I mean, it might. It's on base. It's directly inside exchange building as well. Okay, so that means that they're. That is actually a little bit different because it is on base and it's it's the exchange building. So that is going to be different. That's not like a 7-Eleven. That is completely different. That is different. Cannonball crate. Okay. Parakeet one. And stuff. Sure, why not? Okay. Starbucks adds up so fast. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out something from Starbucks, but I'm rarely ever going to have that. Where did I get the sizal from? Keep it up! There it is. That's it! Sweet! Massive hole, Captain! The land of Unguana bears scars, but so do its people. And that has made them fierce. Resilient. I'm sure that is Unguana! Back to work, pirate! Okay, well, we need the sizal anyway, so... Keep them coming! Exit all! And... What's that? Some unguana merchants! Good girl! Hmm. We're not gonna mess with them. Oh no, we're not gonna mess with them. We're not gonna mess with them anymore. Do 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 Right, so as you can see, we're just kind of, you know, touring around here. Yeah, learn to make good pour over and sell it to others for five bucks. Hashtag prop. I mean, I've been on the water for the past couple of days. Maybe one or two sodas or Gatorades from vending machines. No, the thing is, though, is, yeah, stick with the water. The water, you're probably finding that proper hydration is helping you a lot right now. All right, that's it. Fuck it. We're going for it. Oh, Jesus. To your battle station. We're moving. Oh, Bombard. Oh, sweet God. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna run them. Let's go. Screw those clowns. We out. Oh, sweet sh Holy crap. Holy shit, they're moving. Release the sails. 
Nope, we're whipping through on this shit. Let's go. Loot the teak. Loot the teak. Bring her in and sail down. Kazimurua. Loot teak. Go. I like that. I don't mean to hammer you. No, keep hammering. Keep hammering. Hammer, hammer. Hammer harder. Sultani Island, huh? I'm trying to outrun the brigand. It belongs to la compagnie royale. Oh, this is where I'm supposed. Oh shit, this is where I'm supposed to be for. Okay, well I found one spot. I'm supposed to raid this place. Oh sweet lord. Oh, sweet Jesus. I'm supposed to do a raid on this place. We are not ready for this shit. Look at this. Loot linen. Oh, hey, we got some linen. Okay. I'm down. Let's go. Captain! Settlement! On our starboard! This is an own quarter warship, Captain! There is a bitter in our sight! I see a bitter, Capitan! Free the Capitan! I see rage of the head! Oh shit, I didn't want the torn sail. Oh well, too late, we got it. I mean, we're just gonna let the Unga uh what are, what the the Ungawa do whatever they're doing. Depart, depart, mates. We have done it! Woo! Give me the coin! Give me the, there we go, and the repair kit. Okay. Uh, we're not sticking around for the bullshit though, cause that is, woo. Nope. Excuse me, sir. I, I would like to pass. I, I would like to pass. Fresh fruit waiting to nope. be Don't care about the linen though. Uh. My goodness. Okay. We're gonna need all of this stuff, right? Did you build a new boat? Not yet. Uh, currently working on grabbing some of the material needed to be able to build uh, a larger ship. WL, how was your uh, how was your weekend? Hope you're well. So this is the place that I'm supposed to be raiding, and I'm like, this ship is not. This boat is not built for raiding this yet. Well, well, did shopping. Nice. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 51. Sounds like a case. Uh, sounds like you got a case of the Sposters. Sposters? That's all I got. You know what? I, I'm not. No, no bombards. No. No bombards. Don't care. No goddamn bombards. Grill bread silver. Eh. I'm just gonna stay away from all the bullshit there. There's a whole lot of hell no. Uh that's metal salvage, don't care. What about that? That is not metal salvage though. What is this? I'm not sure what that is, but. Jim over there! Got that! What is that? That okay. is Confederation of Ungwana. Uh, okay, so. Well, wrong button. Shit. It's the only junk I picked up because it's for ah uh, okay I, I I understand that it's free free cannonballs but um that's undiscovered 
Whoa! Whoa! Who's shooting at whom here? Oh. You know what? That's that's fine. Oh, wait, hold on. C fireworks, teak plank. Silver is only 210. Okay. I mean, I've got like a ridiculous amount of metal salvage sitting in my freaking warehouse right now, so it's like, uh, don't need all, yeah, we don't need a whole bunch of freaking fruit right now, so we're just gonna, okay, we're gonna continue on. We'll definitely take the teak, though. Thank you. I will take the teak. We a little bit of extra teak. Teak's expensive, chat. Teak is expensive. You can pillage my junk. Ooh. Is that a promise? Are you promising your junk? So yeah, right now all all I'm doing is just going around trying to collect as much as I can. Uh, yeah, we'll take that in the repair kit. Uh, no, don't care about the scavenge wood because it doesn't Scavenge wood and the torn sails. I've got a whole bunch of that crap. And it doesn't mean squat to me. Doesn't mean squat. The sails set her free. All right, let's. What do we got here? What is this? What can it be? Possible snuff, bombard silver, eh, eh, and he doesn't even want taco. Ah, listen, I like tacos, but you can you guys can still give me tacos, but you don't get butt touches anymore. The only one who's allowed to touch my booty is Zool. She has exclusive rights to my booty. I'll take that vanilla, thank you. De compagnie. This storm can F off at any point in time, too. As long as we don't come across any privateers, we're fine. No. Unguana. Okay, that's fine. Unguana. Eh, ambergris. Eh. Ambergris is really not worth... Need Z. What is it? Guard tower. Okay, that yeah, that's fine. No, don't, don't care about the torn sail. Don't give a shit about any of it. There's a tower! Forward! Repair kit, eh. Teak? Okay, that is a little bit more important. Damn musketeers. You leave my musketeers out of this. Why are we attacking the musketeers? Oh, I will gladly. Woo! Fine hemp, let's go. And lime. I think we may have actually just found the materials required to build the new boat. Roll the sails now! Great! Don't slack! Damn it! You're testing my patience! Don't! You just never mind. You stop screaming at me. Stop yelling at me, you're gonna make me sad. I'll be the Sage. All the Sages. Is that a hippo? That's a hippo. That is definitely a hippo. What do we got over here? What is it? A property de Zunguana. Oh! Cusini. Fire! 
There seem to be a lot of these star charts around, but I don't understand why there are so many of these star charts around. Ziwa Kubwa. I th think we might almost be where we need to be. Cobalt. Ooh, they've got cobalt. <gasps> oh man. Okay. Okay. Nope. 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 We're we're not. Not yet. Hippos on cocaine. What is scarier than that is scarier than that is a scarier thought than cocaine bear. Yep. Don't go to Columbia. There is a crack bear. I mean, <laughs> drug lords with their own private zoos. Chat. It's a yeah, thing. It is a thing, chat. I think we may have found out what we're looking for. Coke Bear did it with a Princess Leia type Coke nail. It's fucking terrifying, actually. There are a lot in. I love it. It's uh, Nadizi, which is what effectively a banana, yeah? Nadizi is effectively a banana. Pirates bonfire smuggler camp. See, she's fickle. One moment she's sighing you, the next she pulls you back into her depths. Sunken gold mine. There we go. We found it. Okay. This is where we needed to go for the agent's clues. Hey, we did it. We found, we found what we're looking for, chat. Tatooine more fun when you're jacked. That's <laughs> true. All right. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, what is that? Uh, need easy, no. We don't need the bananas. No to the bananas, chat. Uh, those are bombard bombs. Don't care. Don't care about the bombard bombs. All right. So, uh, ex sir. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Open the cash. Open the cash. Hums you too. <laughs> uh, cannonballs we're keeping. Uh, lime, wood tar. Okay, so we're gonna transfer to warehouse. All of it. Transfer to warehouse. All of it. Uncut garnet. All of it. Uncut diamond. All of it. Snuff. All of it. Amber gree. All of it. Vanilla. Yep. Cloves. Ale. Uh, the torrent sale, sure. Uh, the metal salvage, sure. Linen, okay. Sizzle, jute, fine hemp, fine jute, teak, Roko. bombard bombs, yes. Repair kit three, keeping that. Uh, we'll throw the water flask in there. Bananas in there. Okay, done and dusted. There we go. Boom, done. Kimmy, hello. How are you? Uh. Uh. Yes. Why? Why? Why would I not? I, I'm a. I'm a. I believe in long term. Why? It's, a relationship is supposed to require both parties to work on it. It doesn't just like happen. There has to like exactly. He owns her. Yes, he has her. Transaction complete, right? <laughs> yes. She, yes, Zool and I are still dating. We probably will be for the foreseeable future because we both are incredibly we we complement each other as people. Our personalities that complement each other, our artistic abilities, our creative abilities complement each other. A relationship is going to require a, a certain level of work on both parties' part. I guess the other way around. No, she doesn't own me. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, but no, we just started dating like a few months ago, it's, it's sweet, it's sweet, yeah, that's right. Sweet Jesus owns me. That's right. Sweet baby Jesus owns me. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Um, ba -ba 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 that's right. Being in a really well, it's not necessarily like okay. So not all relationships are going to be like having a second job. Listen, you were here two weeks ago. <laughs> you were here two weeks ago, Kimmy. I have a great memory about these things. It was two weeks ago. Two weeks. Dos many. This ship's tainted, I tell ya. We found it floating alone. The previous crew disappeared. And I, I don't want the bombard bombs. Well, you're the only one on the crew without it. When bad luck strikes, you'll be her target. Not really sure what's going on there, but I sure in the ha Ooh, we'll take cast some cast iron though. Sure, thanks. Uh cookery, no. Let's uh I'm go up this way, I'll go up this way, I'll have a look, okay. Nope, this is Shiza. Sacre bleu. Where's the rock? Where's where is my stone? Should be maybe oh 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 I bet it's probably over here. It's probably over here somewhere. Okay, listen. We'll draw some water. We got two flasks worth. Okay. Uh, we'll pick up the acacia. Why not? Uh, that is a human skull. Awesome. Disturbing. Yes. Should I be concerned? Possibly. Is that a clear indicator and in sign of, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe, you know, some cannibalism? Maybe. Uh, both she and I love to cook. And honestly, I've dated people that didn't like cooking, and that's fine. That's fine. The whole okay, so let, let's let's have this conversation because I feel like we need to. First and foremost, if you go into a relationship and expect things to be gender rolled, i.e., you have expectations thinking that, well, she's a woman, she needs to do these things. Don't. That that right there is going to lead you into instant relationship failure, right? Exactly. Even right. See, if it takes work, then they're too high maintenance for you. See daddy issues. Even if they don't cook, you can do it together. I do. I do a vast majority of the cooking and I'm okay with it because I love cooking. I love food. I love making good food and I don't mind sharing that. Some people are good at it. Some people aren't. And that is okay. Just because you know, just because if you're dating someone and say you you are you are a man dating a woman, and that woman doesn't happen to have, she she can cook, but she's not good at it. That's fine too. It happens. Some it, it cooking is a skill. Some people aren't good at certain skills, right? Uh, that is sunlight. That is sunlight coming through my window, and striking me on the face right now. That's what that light is. That is sunlight coming through the blinds on my window, right? But, like, what if she wants me to spend time with her boring friends and family on the weekend? What's a good way to tell her her friends and family are terrible for us? And uh, you have to just have that difficult conversation. Some people are boring, and that's fine. But the thing is, though, is what, the thing you need to then stop and think, here's the critical thinking. Why do you personally find those people boring? Right? Exactly. Right. Yeah, it's photons. Yeah, for us, for you, for you, right? You just framed it you and her versus her family. Yes, also. Uh, no, I unfortunately I can't. Because all you'd end up seeing is a light and uh there there's a light over on this side um that sits just above a monitor and a monitor. Her mom stabbed her dad with a fork. Oh! And had them toss. Uh, there, there, here's, here's something else, Kimmy. There's no such thing as women's work and men's work. That is a societal fucking non-starter. That doesn't exist. Are you single? Do you like to eat? 
Are you willing to cook to feed yourself? So, no, this, this, that is something that you need to change in your head. But again, yeah, yeah, sounds like exactly. That's on you. Break that habit. Exactly. Break that habit. That's, yeah, that's your mom. That's not forever. Exactly. Yeah, do it yourself and it changes. See, here's the thing. I didn't grow up with a mom. I have a mother. Obviously, I wouldn't exist if I didn't have a mother. But my father was the primary caretaker. My father raised me. My father raised myself and my sisters. He also operated a farm and worked a government job. There was no gender roles in my household. It was a family opera. Everybody had to do everything. My sister helped in the barn with the animals. She helped collecting eggs. She helped with the chores. I helped with the chores. We both had to muck stalls. We both learned to cook. We both learned how to do our own laundry. There was no mom and dad. There was no gender assigned roles based off of, well, I'm a guy, so I only do guy things or you're a woman. So you only that that is such backwards bullshit thinking. My mom and dad divorced because my dad couldn't keep his dick in his pants because my dad had a problem with cheating. He was a good human, but he had a problem. The, the other thing is, my mom felt my dad was going to be the better, better person to raise us because he had the better paying job. He, wor he had a federal government position. He worked for Public Works Canada for the better part of 30 years, plus running the farm. I'm not liberal. Uh, I can tell you. I can tell you. If somebody if somebody got in my face. Yep. Yeah, civilized countries, exactly. You're that's fine. I mean, you can say the men are not the same same where you are or they're not the same like we're not the same. But I'll tell you, if you came to my face and said that to my face, I'd probably punch your lights out for insulting me. Gender roles are bullshit. Absolute bullshit. You want to keep a woman down? You want to keep her un uneducated and think that she's just good for raising children and keeping the house clean and cooking meals? Fine. You believe that. But I'm going to tell you that is also going to keep you single and unhappy for the remainder of your natural born life. Because that's not how real life is. You have such a closed mindset about how things work in the world, Kimmy. And that is a shame. That is such a shame because you are missing out on so fucking much. We have a drink to talk about it. Like men's do and women in my country, they fight a lot. To talk, not hit. Yeah, well, no. We do the same here. We can sit down and have a drink and talk. But sometimes talking leads to throwing hands. And then after you've thrown hands and you've gotten it out of your system, you sit down, you have another drink, you continue talking, and there's no more problem. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it does. Sometimes people get heated. What I'm saying, though, is, Kimmy, you are incredibly ignorant of the rest of the world, and that is a shame because that leads you to have these this very twisted sense of how the world works. You got this weird, like, it, it, it's, you need to broaden your horizons is what needs to happen, Kimmy. You need to open your mind and broaden your horizons. I'm going to tell you right now, you, wait. just because that's how your daddy did it and you, you, your granddaddy did it doesn't mean that that's how you should do it. Sometimes we have to evolve and, you know. Oh, uh, probably I would probably get run out of your village for calling people out on stupid shit. 
I'm just saying. I would probably, I would probably get run out of your village for calling people on stupid shit, on stuff that is so outdated and outmoded. Like we're not living in the 1800s anymore, right? Like, it, it we're we're in the 21st century. It's time to get with the times, and not live in the past. It, this this behavior and this mindset might have been fine 200 years ago, even 100 years ago, but in the modern age, it doesn't work anymore. It just it doesn't. It's 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 run its course. That's all I can say. It's run its course. It's time to evolve past that. It's time to move beyond assigning gender based roles because we think, well, that only men can do that. I can tell you right now that there are women out there who are far stronger than any fucking man I've ever met. And I can tell you that, you know, men can be just as nurturing as a mother. Because I've seen it firsthand. I have done that. I have been that parent that I was nur more nurturing than their mother. Right. I can tell you there are women in that society that don't like it either. It's not some. Yeah, exactly. It's not some universal. Exactly. Right. I see this uh, the same as explaining things to pygmy. Right. It's not, no. Yeah, no. I kind of understand what you're saying, Slider. It, it's just and it again. It's a shame because it doesn't have to be that way. But this this is what happens, though, too, when you lead, lead such a secluded lifestyle, unfortunately. And that's exactly what it is. When you live in seclusion, you cut yourself off from modern society and then you lose all touch with reality. Because you only see such a tiny, narrow sliver of how the world operates and how life really is out there that you just have no concept. It becomes such a foreign thought. Whereas I have seen a variety of different, um, a variety of different, you know, cultures. So I've seen different ways of life and I can tell you, broaden your horizons. That's all I can, all I can recommend is educate yourself, broaden your horizons. There's so much more outside of the tiny circles that we normally grow up in. And the, I'm, I'm coming at this as somebody who grew up in a rural community as a farmer, right? I grew up in a very small, like 8,000 people there. You worked, you were either a farmer, you worked at the salt mine or you worked at the grain elevators, right? Everything else was well, service industry stuff. But if you, way. and Perhaps we should pay them a visit. like, I've done saunas, yeah. Yeah, I've, 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 I grew up, I grew up on the coast of Lake Huron, one of the Great Lakes. I swam practically every day during the summer. I was in the lake as much as possible. You couldn't go in during the winter because, well, <laughs> it was, you know, it was a little, uh, it was a little freaking cold, you know, like. When you've got four Check feet it. thick of oh, ice oh, oh. over top of a natural, uh, like a freaking freshwater lake, you generally can't go swimming during the, during the winter, but I digress. Hello. I've done saunas. I done fishing. I didn't enjoy fishing. Fishing was not a fun experience for me. I saw no sense in it. It served no purpose. It wasn't even entertaining. I would rather go hiking through the woods. I would rather climb, right? Like, and by climbing, I mean like rock wall, like go climbing, right? Yeah, and that's exactly it. Where I grew up, fishing, fishing's a hobby. It's not, it's not a source of life. I didn't have to fish because I needed to feed myself or my family. We didn't have to, right? And that, that's, right, like... Oh yeah, no, we don't wear clothes in saunas here either.
Well, and that's exactly it. It literally can't pay its time off. That's true. Holy shit, that is so true. Well, you- well, with an auger you can make a hole, then you- I am not swimming in Lake Huron in the middle of fucking January when the water... You know, you'll- you'll die of hypothermia in five minutes. It's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, you might want to retract that, Kimmy. I'm going to tell you that right now. You might want to back up on that conversation. You think the men in my country never had to be men because there was always stuff for them? Uh, you might want to backtrack on that a little bit. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say now. As somebody who grew up on a farm... We had cattle, we had pigs, we had chickens, we had sheep. 500 acres to tend. We had an orchard, garden. No, I did not grow up with supermarkets and Walmart. That's not how I grew up. I grew up having to tend to live animals, cleaning out pens, feeding, taking care of, helping animals birth. I am myself personally, like Slider says, he's six four, two hundred twenty, and trained. I'm two hundred, like I'm, I'm like myself. I am six foot. I weigh one hundred and eighty pounds. I have two second degree black belts. I served for four years in the military, training in survival, wilderness survival, and hand to hand combat. I, uh, you need to research Canada. I think you need to start looking outside of your very tiny little scope because your idea, okay, I'm, let, let's, let's put it this way. Kimmy, what you are talking about right now is what is often referred to as toxic masculinity. You have this very closed mindset and you need to broaden your horizons. And I got to say, like, Canada only got Walmart 30 years. That's right, only 30 years ago. And it was only in the last 15 years that they became big. Yes, also true. I'm an alpha, people. Aren't alphas yet. Yeah. I don't go around saying I'm an alpha. Okay, Kimmy, what country do you currently, just the country. I don't need specifics. What country do you live in? Yeah, small PP games. Yeah, there's some small PP games there. Yeah, Finland. Yeah, Finland, Sweden, Norway. They have as a farmer's market. It's true. My village is from Finland. Okay. Here's the thing. We know that Finland is actually a fairly modern society. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion you probably live in a very remote location, a very remote village. Yes? You live in a very remote area. I know people from Finland. Fin Finnish people are wonderful. They're very warm. They're very friendly. They also, believe it or not, have a very open mindset. The ones that I know do. The ones that I have personally met. So, what I don't understand is knowing what I personally know of the Finnish people from the people that I have personally, firsthand, in real face to face conversations, had interactions with, have worked with, you know, they were here working abroad, working abroad. Not like they were born here, not like they immigrated here. They were here on a work visa. They were here specifically to do a job. They were on contract. And I've had the opportunity in, in tech to have some wonderful conversations with people like this. And I can assure you that, again, you are living in a very closed off system and you do need to, uh, you're, you, you study abroad. How do you not see this? Like, how, how do you not... How is this not a thing? That's that's the thing I'm very confused about right now. It's like, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. You you seem like you could be a very you you seem like you 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 were a fairly intelligent human being. But it's just it, I find it just very very odd. 
that you, you do have this very unusual closed mindset about things. It's like, that's not how life is anymore. It hasn't been for a hundred, like, hasn't been for, for, for years. And I hope you understand. I'm not trying to personally attack you either. It's just, I think you do need to better educate yourself. And, and get out of the mindset of these weird stereotypes, like these weird gender role biased bullshit stereotypes. No, I know this game's not accurate. It's not supposed to be accurate. <laughs> Finland's own guide, right? Yeah. Yeah. There is such a thing as strong women. What? Women aren't supposed to... Women can be strong too. There's nothing saying that women can't be strong. In some cases, women can be stronger than men. And there's nothing wrong with that. Hi, Thunder. Why is the tuturu not working? Oh, there we go. That took some time, right? No, I'm not saying that it's weak. But again, like, that's not something that should just be based on, like, that should not be a gender assigned role. That's what I'm trying to say is cooking, cleaning, all of that stuff can be done by both men and women. There, There is no reason that it can't be. If you're, a, you're, if you're just judging and saying, well, because I'm a man, I don't do those things. That's, that is some bullshit straight up. That is just some straight up bullshit, right? Yo, wait, what did I walk into? Wowzer. I mean, no, I know you're not saying they're weak. I'm just saying that like the whole, the whole idea that, well, because they're women, you know, Cooking and cleaning is their their job. No, no, just because. You know what? I can I can I can assure you, I know one of at least one of my sisters could work on a fishing ship, no problem, on a ship, fishing, and she would freaking eat that stuff up, and she would probably freaking be stronger than half the goddamn men on that ship. That's what I'm saying. This this whole idea mentality of gender role assignment for certain tasks is outdated and needs to change. That's what I'm saying, right? Do you develop both parts Jurassic Park style? <laughs> so you think, uh, I think you have bias when you think women are weak. I don't think that women are weak. I never said that. I, we could do a bad job. I, I don't think, uh, I don't recall saying that women were weak. <laughs> I definitely don't recall. Recall saying that they were weak. Okay, but here's the thing. If men and women are equal, do you do any cooking? Do do you if you were if you are if you and your significant other significant other you and your significant other are together, would you help her cook? Yes or no? Would you would you cook her a meal? Uh, no, I mean, like, if you were home, you have a significant other. Uh, what is this? Okay, well, I don't have the level for this, but we're going to do it anyway. Because they're going to... Oh shit. Oh, we bit off way more than we can chew here. This is bad. It's done. Woo shit. Oh, it just got real spicy. The ship's on fire. But yeah, not on camping at home is what I'm saying. Like, if you were sitting down for a meal with your significant other, would you cook her the meal? Would you say, hey, 
I understand you've had a really long day, honey. You've had a long day. Like, let, let me cook dinner because I can tell that you're exhausted. Again, yeah, exactly. That That's, yeah, pri yeah, no, the privateers don't fuck around. I'm level four. I'm almost level five with this boat. Like, what the hell? Yeah, not the question. It's theoretical. Yeah, again, theoretical. Uh... Okay, you know what? I, I can't. I can't even with you right now. It's like, Kimmy, you you don't get it. You clearly do not understand what we're trying to convey, right? Exactly. You aren't living. The hypothetical is you are not living at home, right? You are living on your own. You have your own home. You have a significant other. You come home. Your your partner ha is is working. So instead, you take it upon yourself to cook because you know that they're working just as hard as you are. Right? As in, theoretically speaking, would you have a problem with that? That's what I'm saying. Would you have a problem cooking for your partner? Because they're still at work. You got home. They're not home yet because they're still working. So you choose to make the meal for both of you to consume. I say we do 10 minutes of silence to change the subject. Probably a good idea, right? Right? Cooking when they aren't home and coming home late. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, and, and that's the thing, like, a relationship is supposed to be a partnership, right? But that partnership doesn't extend to you only do one thing and they only do, like, some things. It's supposed to be both parties help each other out, right? Like, sometimes, sometimes you help them with, uh, with the laundry, right? Sometimes you help them with cooking or cleaning because you live there too but on the other hand they also they work and they help you pay bills you see what i'm you see what i'm saying yeah badgers make moves i get it right and that's all i'm trying to say right okay what if you have to do it twice a week right etc cetera, etc cetera. thanks badger anyway anyway kimmy don't take this don't take any offense but we, we, we do need to move past this. <laughs> Badger, thank you. Also, Badger, also ignorant to treating Slider properly. It's contagious. Listen, it's Slider. Listen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Just give me a second. I gotta, I gotta go and move this. Okay, I'll be back.
Okay, folks. Uh, hey, bada bada swing, bada bada swing. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. Say hello, chat. I've just now officially sent a picture of chat to my eldest or to my youngest daughter. Okay, um, gets the laser pointer to. <laughs> Forget what that's from. Wait, bats around the arm ball. Wait, hold on. What? Hi, Thunder. How are you? Uh, I was good up until I died. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Uh, maybe I should have just, like, kind of turned the boat around and gotten the hell out of Dodge. But apparently... <laughs> apparently that... Yeah. So we're going to go back and get my stuff because I don't have any stuff. This game does look beautiful. And you know what? I'm having a lot of fun with it. And tomorrow's going to be even better because then there will be drops. Tried out the crew Motorfest this morning. Wasn't a fan. Not really. Really? I loved Motorfest. I had a lot of fun with it. Waiting. Oh, what happened to your right stick? What happened to it? Just overuse? Yeah, I've never done it. Hasn't appealed to me. Although I need non-racing driving games too. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing. Like, um, Crew Motorfest allows you to do a little bit more than just like your standard races. Like, you can do drift. You can do, um, you can do off-road. There's boats. There's planes. Like all sorts of stuff, right? I ordered the left one by mistake and didn't notice until I got it. Oh no. Oof. ACC may as well I race. Well, and there's a, the thing. There is a big difference between a set of course of competizione and I racing, though. From both the competitive and the physics side, like the drivability side, like there is a big difference. It feels totally different. I'll try some more. Had the same thing with the original crew. See, the original crew, believe it or not, the original crew I preferred to the crew, too, because the crew, at least the original crew had a story. There was a purpose to what you were doing, why you were building up a crew, why you were building up the vehicles, like doing the rally raid cars, like the raid cars and everything else. There was a purpose to it. Like it was, yeah, it was like a revenge story, but you also had the cops. So you, you had to like, like you had to be careful of getting arrested and shit, too, right? Like it was, there was... There was a purpose to it. Damn coppers, yeah. I'm like, I'm not getting shot at. Oh, it's the French. Okay, you know, the company ship. Oh, well, screw them. That's just a French ship, so. I want my loot back, though. Is, this better not be another one of these. Nope. Nope. We're good. Motorfest felt like a step back in car car modifying. They actually have more cars than uh, the crew, too. Uh, the other thing about uh, Motorfest is they the island is actually scale. It's one-fifth scale Oahu, right? Which is... I'd offer to be escort watching you struggle is more fun. That's fine. I actually don't mind the challenge of this, like trying to get up there and get my stuff back. Like, I actually don't mind the challenge of this. Thunder knows I actually don't mind challenging games. I will struggle bust my ass through things just to get things done because I'm stubborn like that. Not necessarily one of my best personality traits, but, you know, here we are. It is a thing. Not saying I'm proud of it, but I am saying, you know. What is it? Hmm. No, don't need that. I like being able to take uh, take something like a 350Z and making it a rally raid rig. Ah, okay. So, so what you what you're saying is you. Because they had certain vehicles locked, like you couldn't actually like, and that was that was actually the thing about uh, what was it the crew uh, the crew two, 
or not the crew two crew motor fest ah the original crew is that you could take a 350z you could take a porsche turn it into a rally raid vehicle How much? I escorted a few times, but it wasn't for me. <laughs> Shit. God damn it, sir. All right. Uh, yeah, we, we died up here, didn't we? Our stuff should be. Yeah, here we go. Ooh, we're getting close. Okay, we just got to get. I just got to get my stuff. We're going to grab my stuff and book it. Is this? Unguana. Yeah, Unguana. Another Unguana ship. Okay. Can privateers are no damn joke. These things have no chill. Zero chill. No, I, I agree with you. It did feel it did feel unique. What be that, Captain? Unguana. I can see an Unguana fishing boat. Grilled vegetable. Why would that be on my? Lady Luck has knocked. It is a treasure map. Unguana fishing boat. There is a bidder in our sight. What does this thing got that I need? Oh, it's in trouble. That's why. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna. Okay. No, we're just gonna keep going the way we're going. We're just gonna keep heading where we're heading. Nope, not helping you. You're on your own. Season one starts tomorrow. Uh, actually, nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time for me. What's that? We're gonna be doing Twitch drops tomorrow as well. All right, we got our stuff. We can get the hell out of here now. Yup, we're getting out of here. It's it. Dad's getting out of here. Fuck this shit. We're out. We're dipping. We're gonna dip out. Is that cobalt? Cobalt. Yeah, there we go. All right. I'm gonna grab us some cobalt. Ziwa Kubwa. No, I am not helping you. You're on your own. Ease the sheep. Captain, Cobalt. Finish the job and help my drinks at the shore. Cobalt, baby. Let's all catch the wind. Well, and apparently, I, I want to say it's going to be around midnight. I don't know midnight. I think maybe like there's going to be a slight uh, small update around midnight and they're going to be restarting the servers as well. So no, I totally understand that. Like you didn't want to. Yeah, I get that. Not wanting to burn out on it. I totally get that. What do we got over here? Is this What's that, Captain? hemp? This is such a daunting task with these useless tools. Sails in! Got it! Good. Keep going. Woo! That gets spicy Time sometimes. I don't need the bananas. Those fruits are appetizing to me, Captain. That's fine. Those fruits can just remain appetizing to you. Better tools, more returns, Captain. Fill those sheets. Right or in. It was a worthy task, Captain. There we go. Oop. Raise the sail. Loot the hemp. Torn sail. Don't care about the torn sail. Um, eh. Loot or burn the... Uh, we're looting it because I need it for crafting. <laughs> we're looting the hemp so I can use it for crafting. Okay. Make rope, then smoke. No, we're not smoking the rope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. 
That is not smoking the rope. Okay. That's not happening. Har, uh, Harufu? It is a French warship, Captain! Fine jute, huh? Oh, sweet Jesus. We're calling in reinforcements. How am I not hostile with you know what? Fuck it, it don't matter. Ha! Their ship will sink pretty soon. Fire everything you have! Oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> Let's go. Wood tar tobacco. Okay, yeah. Could be. We're not smoking the rope, chat. It's not happening. Not gonna happen. I refuse to smoke the rope. What is that? Is that? Capitaine, what do you make of Sizal. Okay, uh, that's Sizal fiber, but I'm not... Um, what is this one here? Cutthroat secrets. Okay, we got it. Uh, okay, let's go. Cutthroat secrets. That's what we're supposed to be working on. So we're going to head back down there. I want to say thank you to all of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for throwing down subs and resubs. Thank you for gifting subs and bits and the tips. I do appreciate it. Uh, so I've got some material. I want to get myself into a brigantine, but I need to get into, uh, what is it? The, uh, I do have a couple of ship upgrades that I want to do. I got to get into a better ship than the, the Badar. The Badar has a great, been a great ship so far, but I need better. Ultimately, I would love to get into a brigantine, but I'm a little bit away from that one. You know what I mean? I what I actually believe it or not what I really wish I could do is have a crafting re like a recipe uh, like the recipe up on the screen so I can see what I need to get to collect to actually move up into the next ship that I want. Target is too far. Okay, fine. I can track them? Really? Well, shit. Okay. Thunder has just informed us that we can't actually track the uh, recipes, so that's great. I'm just... So, I'm guessing I have to do that when I'm in... When I'm there. Like, I can actually set it to track the material that I need. So, I go to the shipwright and actually... Yeah, go to shipwright, blueprint, want, press F. Got it. Okay, that makes sense sense of frustration. Oh, right, Sail! Port side! Oh, navigator's cross. We're gonna disembark here. Ease the sail! Slow her down! Slow her down! Sails down! Uh, so what we'll do, so I don't end up losing, uh, my stuff again, just in case we get jumped, is I'm gonna drop a bunch of- I'm gonna drop this cargo <laughs> into the cache, into the warehouse, so I don't lose all my stuff. It's not like I have, like, a super huge amount of stuff. Bomb- really? I've got a- mm, okay, I mean, sure. Dying message? Uh, we're gonna... Snuff. Cogwheel. Fine jute, cast iron ingot, hemp, cobalt, copper, acacia, bombard bombs. One moment, apparently the phone is ringing.
uh, pressing X marks things and lets you move stuff all at once. Oh, see, I'm using a controller, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that one works, but yeah, like I said, I'm using a controller, so. Stamina by 4%. Crocodile meat. Mm -hmm. Real fish. Yeah. Uh. Torpedoes. Yeah, Exxon controller. Okay, I'll keep that. Oh, excellent. Okay, I got it. That makes sense. All right. Um, Ungwana merchant. What can we? Uh, let's uh, let's sell some things. No items to sell. Okay, fine. Don't. Flooding demi cannon one. <laughs> oh, I already own that. What about long gun three. Woo! Let's go. Nashukuru. I gotta spend, I gotta spend my freaking silver somehow. How many do they have? Seven? Yeah, I'm taking all of it. Fuck it. <laughs> it's all mine now. My Take all the water. Good. Sour? They only have one. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I'm, I'm just spending the money at this point. <laughs> you can only sell item. Oh, so I can't sell if it's in the cash. Got it. So if I go in here, we pull the items that I think I should sell. Correct. Okay. You know what? That actually makes sense. So like the water barrel. Mm, really? Water barrel. I didn't even know that was a thing. Restore sailing speed by 15%. Buff duration, 20 seconds. Drink, refreshing drinking, refreshing drinking water. You know how that actually makes sense. So uh, if we say go to, oh, I don't know. Can I, how do I, the, the one thing I would like to know is what the fuck do I do with all of this crap? If I'm not using it, can I get rid of it? Do I not? Where are my commodities? Ah, wine. Uh, sure, why not? Well, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. Lamba cloth, commodities. Sure, why not? Ivory, commodities. We'll, we'll, we'll just grab the things that seem to be commodities at, uh, or any pistol. Sure, why not? The whole bunch of things. We'll see what we can get for it. And select. Okay. Transfer to cargo. Aha. That's great. Only things you can't sell for some dim, dumb reason is. Really? Can't sell food, huh? Okay. I mean, shit. Whatever. <laughs> come on. Uh, don't you come on me. Toggle max. Accept. We're just going to sell all of this shit because. Yep. Okay. Done. Thank you. <laughs> Is used or sell it. So I can sell like the cannons and all of that crap too. Cannons, armor, so I can't, okay. You know what, I didn't realize that I could sell that. That's good to know. Thank you, thank you, Thunder, I appreciate that. Flower, yep, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Back to the map. Uh, we want journal. Okay, yep, yeah. tracking, all right. Examine. Examine the dying message to locate the trader's whereabouts. Okay, so I get it now. All right, so we go here. Um, ooh, get more Lionheart stuff. So I need to go into 
archives. Nope. Codex, I think. Nope. Shit. Archives? Maybe? Letter. Letter. Voices beneath the earth. No. Settlements. Hell hath no fury. It's all Greek fire to me. Through trade with the Sahari merchants of Arabia, the Confederation of Ungwana has long had a secret formula to see fire. An evil weapon for great power. Okay. Beware. The liquid is highly volatile and requires a specialist in its exact formulation. I have personally lost three fingers and no longer have eyebrows. Kilala Harry. Good luck. May you unleash a fiery whirlwind upon your enemies. I'd keep anything blue, though. All right, good to know. Last great mine. By orders of the Inland Mining Company of the Confederation of Ungwana, the Ma uh, Mafuta Gold Mine will cease all production from the 20th of July, 1694. The Mafuta Gold Mine has been the pride of the old mine kingdoms for generations. We wish to thank the land for bearing such rich fruit and our workers for their dutiful tilling of it. Should the agents of the inland mining company strike gold, former workers of the Mafuta gold mine will find opportunity waiting for them. Till then, we will keep searching. Do what you need to, to keep your family safe. Okay. No, don't care about... Ah, oh, why does it... Okay, you know what? Hey. I don't care about any of this stuff. Like, encumbered, I already knew about that. Refined materials, we've already figured that out. Okay. Codex. Top deck weapons. Bombard. Yep, okay. Torpedo. Yep. Bow weapons. Ballista. Sea fire. <sighs> Ballistas. Ballistas look fun. I'm not going to lie. Ballistas kind of look fun. Okay. Ballistas look kind of fun. Utility furniture. Oh, wait, hold on. What the fuck was that down there? Balanced mast. Increases acceleration and deceleration by 8%. Dude! It's actually kind of nice. like it. All right, map. Journal. Okay, so the problem is here right now. Uh, where's, where's... Ah, that's what I'm looking for. A scrawled note that mentions the words betrayed, rogue warship, and in Jiwa, Africa. So that means that if we come back here, it's somewhere around here. Okay. So we just got to look for the ship then. Got it. Okay. Not much in the purple gold levels at the moment, so blue typically equals best of. Yeah, for, and I'm guessing that is specifically for the time being, right? Okay, view. My beloved, it has been a week since your passing, and every day my heart grows only heavier. You were the only source of all my inspiration, my closest confidant and deepest friend. I miss you and your silly long snout. I shut myself in the royal chambers for a week, waiting till the finest engineers in the kingdom had constructed a tomb fit for you. Now as I gaze upon your eternal resting place, I can feel the weight begin to lift. It is exactly to your liking. It marks a difficult sea route to the Indian subcontinent, and oh, I cry unashamedly to remember how much you love to sail. Nosy, my dear pet aardvark, no one shall ever... Re <sighs> Seriously? Really? A pet aardvark. I, I, naming an aardvark nosy is a little on the nose, you know? What the heck? Pick up oil canister? Sure, why not? I mean, it ain't really going to do me any damn good, but you know. A little on the nose, right? People and their pets, man, strong. I mean, okay, fair. Fair. Strong bonds, yes. I understand that. I get it. But, damn. Damn. Oh. The fool led his crew to their deaths. He was part of the crew that robbed the Shadow. And yet he fell so easily. Maybe the glory went to his head, eh? 
The West I got a little close. <laughs> I got a little too close. His fate and where the convoy escaped to. Okay, well, that's another Look chunk of that. So yeah. You need to keep hunting, stealing, growing. Set sail, let's go. I'll call dog. Come here, little shit. <laughs> oh, good God. With all haste, raise the sails. Everyone has the rations? Good. There we go. Rations have been hid. We're into the wind, so this is going to be great. That over there. Floating loop. What is it? Uh, okay. That wreck, Captain. No, nope, that wreck's got like new. Victims. We might discover a clue as to what happened to her. No. Large wanna shipwreck. I mean, it's a large shipwreck, but it really doesn't have a whole lot of loot to it. So I'm like, eh, you know, sink Skrlock's traitor. Okay, examine the dying message. I'm getting a lot of the stuff that I'm damn I mean listen I won't say no to free loot chat it's free loot chat It's fine, I already saw that ship. Alright, let's see if we can find this bastard. Cutthroat secrets. Yeah, no, we're we're definitely here. I don't eliminate one of Skrlock's traitors. Examine the dying message to locate the tra uh oh. Uh, can we get about to maybe not? There we go. This is still better than draining the pit. Oh, I think we deserve a drink. And bombards, and we'll take the repair kit though. Don't care about the bombard bombs. They Raise don't. The sails. They're really not that important. No, that's what definitely not them. Unguana fishing boat. Abida. Okay, so we just. So what? I've got to wait for these mother trucker. This mother trucker to spawn. Is that what it is? Oh, 
I've just got to keep invest. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to. Oh, oh, Stand oh. From the distance. There, our port side. It's a malparti. Let's just give them another chance. Look at the one merchants. I see a beta. Lies and betrayal darken the part of every Okay, pirate. we're having a bit of a complication. A little bit of, little bit of complication here. Oh. Rammer. That wreck, Captain, might be one of Bloody Bones' victims. We might discover a clue as to what happened to her. Cutthroat Secrets, Gerlock's Traitor. Well, we found it. We found him. Let's go. Oh, your ass is mine, bud. Oh, I got something for your ass. <laughs> Let's go. Found you. I found you, you skeezy little bastard. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go. We need to better use the wind. Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. Hi. I hope you're having a good Monday. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, baby, I love the way every day, honey. That son of a bitch just tried to hit me with freaking stupid ass torpedoes. Oh shit! I <laughs> get wrecked, fucker. Oh wow, that hurt. Oh. Ha, that ship will sink pretty soon. Someone protect the herd. No, nope, we're just gonna sink your ass. Get fucked, nerd. Ah, <laughs> let's go. Confirms that daring rogues are plotting Skullock's downfall. Mine, mine, mine. Return to Skurlock. Well, we will. As soon as I collect all the loot. I was just sitting out here because Skurlock's traitor has been doing so much for us. All the lime, all the goodies. Look at it all. Look at all the loot, chat. So much loot. All the loot. Yeah, that's the one thing that the wind is and that's actually seems to be one of the major complaints about this game is just the wind The wind is just so unnatural Because we know wind does not change like this Wind can change direction. Yes, but not the way it does in this Yeah, no way too often I understand that is to make to make it a challenge to navigate and I get it but yeah too often and it way too fast yes I agree 10 cannonballs yeah I'll take extra cannonballs sure why not my ship is groaning my ship is cranky it's groaning oh, we'll take that loot too I mean it's only acacia planks but Right, so we gotta head back to we gotta head back to Skurlock. That's fine. I got we got him. Hopefully, we have the material that I need to now build the ship that I want. Well, one step closer to the ship that I want. I am not plundering anything right now.
Can't tell you how often I'd angle myself to make progress. The wind will change, then after I adjust, it moves again. It's like, yes, yes. I've had, the I've had the same issue. I've had the exact same issue, Thunder. Now, I at least like that on the, um, like, where it effectively shows the speed that you're traveling. It has a, it shows the wind direction. But it is obnoxious that you'll be like, you'll be sailing, you finally got yourself moving at a very, at a decent clip. And then it's like, yeah. You just, you just get stopped dead. Pure iron, pure ironwood. Ooh, let's go. Grilled chicken, sure. I'll take that. Loot, yeah. Some. I mean, we'll take all the good stuff. There we go. I'll take the good stuff. Here we go. It wouldn't be so bad if it stayed put. Then you just zigzag the way. Yes, like exactly. You, you, yeah. You, you have to zigzag to tack and keep tacking into the wind a little bit, right? You'd have to, you'd have to tack into the wind for a bit and then zig and then you know tack into the wind and zag and right that yes. 100% yes. Totally down with that. And that that's the thing though is like we were you see how we we didn't really change direction. Oh, and see the wind. Yeah, like it's now, I understand with the, like, the wind will change according to topography, according to the geography of the area that we're in, because of the islands and everything else. I do understand that wind will change. It will funnel. I get that. But this is a little, like, it's a little weird. I think the food mechanic could do, yes. Um, what is that? I think we're okay. Why? Why did the music change? Um, we're not. No, we're not attacking them, sir. <laughs> what the actual hell? I'm not attacking them. It's not happening. We are not doing it. It just seems odd how arcadey everything is, but the wind just to be, yeah, of all, uh, yeah, of all things, I know, right? I mean, that cutter is actually doing a pretty good job, but against the compagnie, but, uh, you know. All of that calls for help. We're not helping. Nope. I am not helping. Nope. I am the most unhelpful freaking fucker on the ocean right now. Broadsider. Oh, that's a privateer. Have they... They haven't fixed the death mark issue yet either, have they? God, this is painfully slow. <laughs> Sorry, keyboard needs cleaning. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it at the moment. And typing on second PC isn't easy enough. <laughs> they turned it off. All oh, they okay. Well, at least they did that because Jesus, that was obnoxious. The death mark thing constantly coming up and spamming me. Wow, that was a. Whew. For a warship, for the Wakan spotted captain. Uh. Eh. I can see the settlement. Captain, port side. What's that, Captain? It's this 
We're don't worry. I'm not. We're not. We're not robbing anybody right now. I just. I want to get back sure to port. The king okay. Will want to know who dares threaten his rule. Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. We're working on it here. Yeah, it's off until they fix it. Why it took them over two weeks to do it. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that either. I'm glad that they like that. I'm glad that at least the temporary was to turn that off because that was kind of obnoxious. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little, it was a little obnoxious, okay? You hit the privateers, next thing you know, you got a death mark, and it constantly spams the death mark. Death mark has been removed. Death mark has been removed. It's like, okay, thank you. Yeah, d yeah, so you think that knowing that it happened in the open beta, that they would have actually, like, that would have been something that they would have tried to fix after the beta, right? Like, they, they got the information. They knew that this was going to be a problem. So why not just fix it, you know? Company ship. Skirmisher? Mm. Yeah, we're not going after that boat right now. Not yet. We're going to cut straight through here. <laughs> We're going straight through. Alright, so... We're on our way back to St. Anne. We're going to talk to Skurlock. To complete the, uh, the cutthroat secrets. And once we're there, we'll go and talk to the shipwright and uh, figure out what else we need to be able to move up into the next ship. Because that is that that's at this point, that's kind of an important an important factor is I need to get out of the Badar and, uh, you know, up into something a little bit, a little bit better. Other Spain can be our game. Eh, Lamba cloth and all that. Yeah, not really interested in the Lamba cloth. We already know about what this. The Compagnie. Uh, so another... We've actually... I've got quite a few of these quests that I kind of need to finish up here, but... It's a ship battle! There is a ship! That's Clan of Farah. Fara. I mean, I'll take the jute and the freaking garnet and everything, but... The sea people. Sea people. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna fuck with the Farah then, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are a rammer. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd. There we go. <laughs> See, we're just help we're helping the locals, okay? We're just helping them out. And it's fine. That's what we're supposed to do. We're friends of the sea people, chat. Um, actually, let's... Ooh. Do I not have any cooked food right now? Uh, apparently... Oh, I do... I don't actually have any cooked food. Got it. Okay, check. We need to make some food then. Okay. Well, that's problematic. Make sure we get some noms made up when we get back to St. Anne then. Gonna have to hit the uh, hit the cookery. 
Uh, also definitely going to have to talk to the blacksmith because we now have some blueprints for uh, better weapons. So that's also something that I'm going to have to uh, spend a little bit of time and look into. gonna dismiss that for now i'm heading to saint Anne. i gotta i love that the guy literally hit me with the flame cannon it's a good thing that the pvp is not active at, at this point because jesus uh you know what i'll accept that i'll accept that that's fine hey jesus christ sir <laughs> i can't i can't do it man i'm sorry i can't i got shit to do It's trying to get my attention. I can't group with you right now. I can't play with you. <laughs> Ball! Is this like Sea of Thieves? Uh, without the first person and without the cartoony graphics. It's fairly similar. We are very close! Um, believe it or not, though, honestly, Paul, I would say that no. This is more like, uh... This is more like Assassin's Creed Black Flag without the first person. Like without getting off, like the only Charged time you're off the, the boat of the is when you're in port. They mark the route to India. So as you can see, like we we just got to seen in. This is a pirate port. Sailing on a company. Lots of trade going from east to west and back. Uh, we just come. We're just here to turn in uh, a miss. Uh, Effectively, a, a mission for uh, for uh, Pirate Lord Skurlock, John Skurlock. Soon all will shiver in your wake. Hey, Paul, how are you? Huh? Well, give him the note. Visually, I think this is way better than Sea of Thieves. I'm just saying. I don't like the visual aesthetic of Sea Thieves. I'm doing well. Uh, yesterday was my 51st Some birthday. My I had my birthday you yesterday. It was a nice day. I More spent the week, like, didn't. Saturday, um, um Zool, who happens to be one of I mean, one of my no newest moderators, but she and she's also my, my significant other, my partner. We went up to... We we went up north. She and I jumped in the car. We went up north. Lot. We visited my uh, my daughters. I showed her around my hometown. Showed her uh, showed her where I grew up and everything. She loved it. Uh, then yesterday she took me up for bur for breakfast for my birthday. You could take them on, and we've helped. I thunder. Them. Yeah, I I prefer this to but Sea of Thieves myself. Open for Karadik to swoop in. My port will burn. Like, don't get me wrong. I I love rare games and a lot of the stuff that they do, but Sea of Thieves, this Caritate I just find is more visually striking. It has a plot, a story a to it. Resist or not, you know, it's take it all. a glorious victory. And again, we that's like, what he wants. We all have our preferences, Caritate right? Makes his name for slaying infamous pirate, earns favor, then rises to a cushy new post on the Atlantic. Got Chad, if you're just joining us, Blow welcome. I'm your host, Scott. This is the Arcade. Happy Watch Monday. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate the hell out of it. Just need to I appreciate all of you, and you were wonderful human beings. All right, there we go. Dying message. A Cosmetic. There we go. The cosmetics Stay. have been delivered. Stay greedy. I love that. Stay greedy. Oh, we're going to stay greedy, all right. But first... 
Repeat. Gives Turtle a Skrlock time while he figures out how to draw out the traitors. Well, we'll do that, but first, let's... Some fucking prophecy. The sea people will never defeat Clan Let's see what we can cook up here. We got grilled banana. Uh, uh, let's do actual meals. I'll see. Hmm, I mean, Chondo Gacy. Do I have the stuff for this? I do. Oh. Wish I had that. Here we go. Cook it all up, baby. Give me all the good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. Got some cooking done. We got some food for the crew. Let us go and uh, speak to a man about a ship. I'll, I'll go talk to the blacksmith in a minute, but we need to uh, talk to the ship right here. The ship makes the pirate. Let me improve your I like that. The ship makes the pirate. I mean, we can do the sloop. I don't have... Oh, uh, see, I don't have... Okay, so the sloop... The sloop is the next one up that I can move to. They've got the sentinel. This is a ship that I'm currently using, which is the Badar. Okay, wait. If you guys are really TVL, up, hi. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? Thanks for being here, man. The Dow is good for sailing up. 69, dudes! So I'm gonna ask this of Thunder because Thunderwolf has a fair amount of uh he, he Thunderwolf has more experience with this right now than I do. Out of what I currently have for options, what would, would you suggest, like, how is the sloop? Have you used the sloop? I have the material for it. This is the next ship that I kind of want to get into. Work the weekend as usual. I Listen, I just spent the weekend hanging out with my kids and my significant other for, for my birthday. I've used them all. Okay. Um... I kind of, I think the the sloop is the one that I want to go with. Is it? Is it a? Is how solid is this? You know what? It doesn't really matter. I think I think that's the one we're gonna go. I right, we're gonna do the blast. We're gonna go with the sloop. With the right weapons equipped, the ship is able to stand toe to toe with multiple enemies. It's good. It's good. All right. You know what? We're there. We go. We're crafting. We're crafting the sloop. I've got the material I'm, and the money. I might as well. Holy shit, that's loud. I might as well do it. We got us a new boat, chat. New ship in the water. Let's go. Sloop crafted. Uh, move all cargo to new ship. Thank you. <laughs> We're good. Oh. Um, what can I sell? So. Oh. Okay, okay, let me Consecutive hits decrease reload time by 0.5% up to a maximum of 15% this effect resets after 10 seconds with each blast of the horn our cannons barked louder. Holy hell I'm um, in the chips Can I? So this one is the three this one is a four right we're, we're we've been sailing the Badar, but this thing is like Oh, let's go. Okay. Safe travels, Captain. Yeah, let's go talk to our blacksmith friend here. Hello, sir. If it kills, I can make it. <laughs> if it kills, I mean, listen. Tearing culvern through. I mean, this. Tearing culvern one. Yeah, that's not bad. Flooding Demi Cannon one. Ooh, I need Mopane Planks for that. Okay. What this? Nickel ingot. 38. Okay. I do miss Bristol. Bombard. Bombard two. I'm not sure. Ah, I mean, Bombards, man. I mean, it's nice. See, Bombards feel like something because they're similar to a mortar, right? That feels like... And now, if I remember, though, we've got mortars, too. Yeah. I don't know. Bombard? I... Ship number depends on ship, weapons, armor, and furniture. Yes. Should hold up until you can get the brigantine. We're still... I'm still going to get the brigantine regardless. Is that... Mm, I need more paint planks for the... Oh, long gun three. Oh, I love that piercing one, though. Oh, that is so good. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Oh my. Mm, it's so delicious. Rockets? Enhanced rockets. Ballistas. So hot. Sea fire. Damn tropics. I can do Iron Husk 3 though. Yeah, okay. Alright. I that's something I need to start doing. I need to actually. Ah yes, that's You're okay, so, so it's just that's the repeatable. That's the repeatable. Got it. Alright, let's uh let's go have a look at my ship here. Let's go have a look at the ship. Hey, you wanna set sail or not? Uh manage ship, please. Armor. Iron Husk 1, Iron Husk 2, the Bastion. Uh, well, can I... Do you want to equip it anyway? Yep. Fire Long Gun 1. Demi... Flooding Demi Cannon 1. Zamzama. Holy sh shit. Um. Okay. Yeah, we'll put those on. <laughs> Holy hell. Demi Cannon 1. Flooding Demi Cannon 1. Fire Long Gun. Zamzama is is a Demi Cannon. I was I kind of thought that's what it was, but Zamzama 2, huh? Okay, we'll throw that on. Okay. And then we're going to go with that on the opposite side. Okay. And we're good. All right. Furniture. Iron cladding increases damage from ramming by 25%. Don't need that. Scooping station. Uh, Hitting... A target more than 320 meters away applies the marked status. Targets with the marked status are 100% more damage. Uh, take 100% more damage to weak points. Increases stamina by 7%. Increases damage by 15% after a crew attack for 30 seconds. Chains locker. Increases duration of the torn sails effect on enemy ships by 10 seconds. Culvern grinder. Increases projectile speed of culvern by 15%. Rope Locker increases acceleration to 300% when trim is activated at full stamina. 5% of stamina is instantly consumed to trigger this effect. Um, so normally the bow, the bow guns, I use a long gun. But... Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna throw and eh, maybe no nah, no we're gonna do that. We're gonna do rope locker instead. Fuck it. Um, rope locker. We'll throw the galley on. Chains locker for now because I don't have anything really better than that, but. I mean, I'll throw that on there. Uh, we're gonna do... Oh, yes, please. Yep. Yup, okay. The Ashen Corsair, huh? Mm. 
Vengeance, huh? Okay. Yeah, content creator set. There we go. Set is complete. So we're just... Works for me. Don't care about the fireworks. Yeah, the fireworks stuff doesn't really... Okay, here we go. Giggity. Uh, what do we got in cargo right now? A lot of stuff I can probably offload. So let's go grilled fish. Uh, we're going to transfer to warehouse. Right, I can just do the X. Never mind. Fish. Bombard bombs. Oil canisters. We'll keep that. That. Uh, we'll get rid of that. That. Pure iron. Nickel. Bronze. Lime. Yeah. Uncut sapphire. Uncut garnet. Uncut diamond. Oh, hey, we're going to keep that because we're going to open that up. Yep. Move. There we go. Okay. And that. Open. Sure. Why not? I'll an extra 176. Sure. I'm okay with that. Okay. So the ship is now set. Yeah, the fireworks are, yeah, and I'll be honest, like, the, the fireworks don't really, I'm like, eh, eh, I want the ship to look nice, but I don't care about fireworks. The king like, of eh. thieves don't make time for just anyone. Skurlock must be fond of you. Stock up on repair kits. Okay, you don't really have a whole lot, so, eh. Uh, let's go talk to our gentleman carpenter here. The carpenter. Your business is yours, but I hear very bad things about the pirate king. Listen, sir. Yep, well, uh, yeah, we're gonna craft a new pickaxe. Thank you. Okay. Saw four. Yep. Let's go. Sickle three. Crowbar four. Hunting spear two. What 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 am I miss? Uh, what do we got? What is that? Long gun grinder one. Okay. Um, bombard powder house. Neither of which I'm really interested in. Defense. Yes, gunpowder bench. Okay, pinches this. Increases damage to enemy ships with, set with a blaze by 10%. Okay. Uh, balanced mast. Minor furniture. General and all purpose and no sea rats. This doesn't mean you can... you. I can't make up my fucking mind. Increases acceleration deceleration by 8%. That's actually pretty dope. I like the gunpowder bench idea, though. A pinch, of, a pinch of this, a little dash of that, and voila. Fiery delight for your foes. It increases damage to enemies with the ablaze effect by 10%. Uh, major furniture. Rope locker. Yep. Um, I can't technically make that. We already have that installed, so it's not really a big deal. Restoration. I've got to start picking up the, I am always the plans when I'm uh, like... That's the other thing. I haven't been picking up the plans when I'm not really stopping at ports, right? So I haven't been picking up the plans like Skirlock. one would He's think that they should. Who would strangle even his own mooter. Uh, okay. Uh, provide material. Roco plank. Okay, yeah, accept. Okay. Provide materials. Acacia plank. Really? That's okay. I mean, fuck it. Whatever. We'll uh, 
make us some teak, though. One cop? I mean, okay, fine. That's fine. Fine items. Provide materials. All right. What else we got? Cobalt. Three to one. So three cobalt ore to make one cobalt bar. Got it. Okay. I like the fact that it shows you the ratio required too. But it does seem to be three to one, right? Hi, Jay. I want a nice coffee right about now. Well, why don't you go get yourself a nice coffee? Dude, I'm not. I'm. Listen. Listen. I like that. You're so, my own child. My youngest daughter insulting me. How dare you? It's a good thing. Listen, it is a good thing I love you, girl. How you doing, Jay? How was your day? Listen, don't, don't feed her. Don't, don't, don't feed, don't feed the little, the little troll. Do not. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Fine linen. There we go. Okay. Here's the thing you have to understand. I love this child. I do. I love her with all my heart, but she will turn on you faster than you can blink. Your day is good. What did you do today? What did you do today, Jay? I'm serious. This child will turn on you faster than you can blink. Treacherous. I did, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. What did you do? What did you... Be honest. Own it. What did you do? I'm used to girls turning on me, though. It honestly wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Shit. She's only 15. So, you know. What can you expect from a teenager? What did you do, Jaybird? Own it. Five to one for the fine. Holy Hannah. This is expensive. Sweet Jesus. It was a sleep day. <laughs> Backstabbing knows no age. Yes. This is this is kind of factually correct, too. Can't even argue with that. <laughs> I'm to see why they call you an upstart, Capitain. It is a Monday. It should not be a sleep day. Anyway, that's how I... Uh, last time I checked, Monday is a school I day. Ships are leaky, old tough. Make Education. It is actually important. Any spice will do. Especially considering you want to be a vet tech. Kind of need to be able to go to school. <laughs> Finally. A captain... Because they can't just pass you. That's It's not crazy, but... Here's the thing, if you want to be a vet tech, you've got to go to school. But when you're paying together. for it, they don't have to pass you. Who the head rat they can still fail you. They you don't care. Going out there to kill him. They're not there to be nice. They're there to educate. The on the <laughs> ass kissing, groveling little kids. Oh, this whoa, 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 Why? whoa, your Capable. mouth, sir. I'm greedy as hell. He's a proper pirate captain with many following his lead. Much you like need to said. stop staying up until four o'clock in the morning playing Lethal Company. Becomes a lie. Set your set an alarm. Ten o'clock at night. You're done gaming. It's all over, right? We'll hang him from the beam. The rest <laughs> of Thunder's like, oh, this quest gets popcorn. Some may even <laughs> Thunder's this like, let's go. We might not finish this, but today, right but we're definitely gonna days. get into it tomorrow for sure. Not. But I do want to take my my new ship out. We're taking oh, the new God. ship out. I'm counting on you. He's like gets popcorn, puts feet up. I could be there to hear him scream as you tear him down. He makes for French territory, and we'll sail through some quiet stretches. 
It's a perfect place for an ambush. Go Love on. that perfect place Get for it. an ambush. Contract accepted the lion and the rat. Fair winds and a full hold to you. Ho <laughs> let's go. Ooh. A rat tried to pay me off. Could it be the same one? Sail to the trader's location before they can escape, huh? You know, maybe we're just gonna jump on the boat. We're just gonna go. Of course, Gerlock has rats in his cellar. Like attracts like. Like attracts like? Wow. Woo. That's a spicy way of looking at it. Make haste, Captain. Skurlock's traitors will not wait around to be caught. Oh, yeah! Randall eyes ahead! Roll the sails now! The gr I love the groaning sound as you, like, Come turn on. the, turn the, the ship. Sail. All right, let's see what we can do here. I mean, I don't seem to be traveling any faster than I did on the previous ship, so this is mildly disappointing. <laughs> Not sure how to feel about this. Oh, we'll loot the jute. Jute. Jute, jute, baby. No, we're not harvesting. I am not harvesting coconuts right now either. Negative. Negative Ghost Rider. Coconut, don't care. Capitan, what do you make of that? Eh, don't matter. <laughs> wow, Jay, uh, tripping over the bar stools, I see. I see, Jay. Aw, oh, well, you know what? Hey, Thunder, you know what? My kid might be savage, but she gave you a hug. She probably need, needed some minor consolation because she tripped over the bar stool and hurt herself. And TVL smacks himself with a bag of chips. I mean, you know, snack food. I mean, let's go. What about a snack food? For someone who doesn't like hugs. A 15, my 15 year old kid gave you a hug. I mean, I think you'll live. You'll be all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thunder slap. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, easy. Badger's bad Badger gave Badger a hug and then Badger That's got the bar stool. Thunder. Damn Thunder. Thunder being all savage with the bar stool right now. Who's in the sails? Set them open. Yeah, apparently, yeah, kid, you started a bar fight. You we did indeed. You started a bar fight. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I can't use it on a 15 year old girl now. Could I, I mean, she, listen. Captain, my gut's in a pit. Something here is all fouled up. Something's not right, Captain. Be on your guard. Company ship. Company agent. That over there. What is it? The Allegiant. I'm marking that mother trucker. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Well, shit. We're in it now. Boy, 
Bombards? Oh, sweet Jesus. Give me your stuff, you bastard. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. You'll make up. Teach a lesson to those bastards. Whoop. Are you drunk? Holy shit. Okay, the seas out here are a little nauseating. No! Rex one, hello, how are you? Let fire everything you have. Let's go. Freaking ah! Uh, oi! 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 Watch your bullets, sir. I've got a bone to pick with you, sir. Shit! You know what? I don't care. Nope. Fuck it. Oh shit! It's a road! Woo! The no! Nope. are smashing our ship! <laughs> oh, <man>. dude! <laughs> I'm not. Nope! That's a rogue wave. I am not touching that shit. Oh, hell no. Nope! Doesn't matter, Captain. We'll deal with Skullock. The lion and the rat. Eliminate Lispect. What the fuck? I gotta. Oh, sweet Jesus. I gotta eliminate these clowns? Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, well. Um, uh huh. Excuse me. Okie dokie, here we go. Oh, sweet Jesus. Getting close. Getting close. Fire away! Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Oh, shit. Are you afraid to die? Oh God! There will only be bits and pieces of you left. Stay steady! 
Uh, I didn't mean to brace quite like that, but here we are. Okay. You are going to the bottom. Okay, come on. This is a bit of a turning fight right now. We are you dare expose us! Fire now! We will kill you all! Rebio! Keep at it, people! Get her around, get her around, get her around. Get the forward guns going! Get the forward guns going! Fire. There we go. Keep Shit, that wasn't great. Ow, bombards can suck a bag of freaking dicks. Ugh. Ow, my body. They are the cannons! Back up! Free the sons and slow it down! My body. Sorry, did you think that I was talking about? Nope. Hey, listen, I feel like I'm doing pretty damn good right now, okay? This thing's bombards are real pain in my ass. Missed me, bitch. Four guns going. There we go. Yep. Get her turned around. Get her turned around. Oh, but. Our weapons are ready, Captain. Captain, get revenge! And we're gone. Hi, Sleepy. <laughs> How are you? Skullock wanted us to die at Karadax Blade. Yet here we stand. You outsmarted them both. Skurlock, the rat will answer for his treachery. Oh, wait, what? Skurlock. Skurlock is actually the freaking traitor here. Tired and angry. Oh, why are you angry? That doesn't sound good. No, Skrlock, Skrlock, oh, Skrlock set me up. Right, well. We now, that will show them not to mess with us! The Compagnie, huh? I mean, you can run. Fire! That's fine. You keep running. That's fine. We are in the well, I can, now. but Sit I kind of want to. I kind of want to destroy some of. The, <laughs> I want to destroy more company ships. Take the repair kit. <laughs> Whew. 
They're running. All right, that's fine. Yep, they're running. Okay, we're good. We're good, chat. We're good. They're running. I do. Okay, the one thing I'm going to say about this, the one thing I do actually like about this is the fact that sailing in rough seas, you do, there is an art to it. You do have to actually sail. Uh, no, not considering. No. No. Rogues, huh? All right, you want some of this, bro? Older than dirt, she says. Okay, I mean, you wanted some of that. You started. You started this. I mean, talk shit, get hit, bro. That was kind of cool, but you know. Talk shit, get fucking hit. Oh, is it getting pushed by the wave? I mean, it's not that. Yeah. It's kind of like surfing, chat. What the f Where did you come from? Where did this dirt bag- Okay, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I ain't got time for your shit. Look, oh, shit! Man? Oh, nope. Nope, we Rogue wave. Nope. <laughs> so I'm like- I'm literally surfing the wave at this point. I'm like, nope, we're the hell out of here. Hell no. This beer is quite good. Sip oh, you got beer? I would love, I'm not even gonna lie. I would actually like a beer right about now. I would, I would legitimately like a beer right about now. That's an insult to, listen here. Listen, chat. Were you there when the Big Bang happened? No, I wasn't. I was no. I'm not as old as dirt because no. Insult to dirt. Listen here, sir. Those waves need to be wider. Too easy to just sail around. I mean, they're yeah. Hey, I, I age, okay? No, but Scott is late for- No, your Aunt Sharon and Uncle Todd are older than dirt. Your Grams and Grandpa are older than dirt. Your Papa is older than dirt. I am not. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can believe what you want to believe. I like that. No, uh, yeah. They're, They're older than I am, so if I'm oh, older than dirt. Man. I was not grown in a lab. Hi, Majafo. It's been a hot second. No, I'm like 35 with 16 years experience. Factually correct. I am 35 with 16 years experience. Jaffo, it has been a hot second. I hope you're well. Good to see you, man. All right, so uh, we just wrapped everything up with uh, uh, getting set up by Skurlock. Bastard. Let's 
gonna loot the jute. Loot jute, bye, boo-doo. Hey, listen, just because my birthday was yesterday, you guys need to get off my balls, okay? My birthday was yesterday. Get off my nuts. We are safe! Back to work! <laughs> I'm glad the hull is in good shape. I don't know about the rest of this ship at this point. I like that. Maybe I like you. Never mind. <laughs> don't lie to me like that. Thunder. It's not the 29th. E yeah, that would actually be terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's see what we got. Return to Skurlock and confront the Kingpin on his dealings with Karadek. Get those sheets down! Yeah. Ah, nothing like the well I am 35 with 16 years of experience, chat. I'm going to punch Skurlock in the face when I get the chance. Oh, we're going to have some words with Skurlock. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head none. We're going to go have some words with this man. This man needs a slap in the side of the head with a giant brick. Free the sails! Roll the sails! All right, Got here we go. Sloop, I see. She's hardy and a broadside will bully anyone. Yeah, that's right. We got us a sloop. She's, she's a nice ship. I like it so far. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes, chat. The sloop gives cannon shot as good as it gets. Kali, you made it back. You seem surprised. So Karadek's mortal after all. The fiercest French captain. Fallen by your hand. Not as much as what coin shall flow our way now that Karadek rots. Yeah, I had talks with Karadek, that glory blinded fool. You see, he slobbered. Awesome. Thought, Glad to hear it, kiddo. a pirate captain as storied as you. So. I made you not only the bait, but also the what, hook. Wait, why can't you just walk the there? The it's like a block down you. from the house. For At least there's now, no Bethesda-style loading screen when disembarking. This is true. Their hero. Valid. The rat's their master. None dare oppose us. The world is ours for the taking. Ah, oh, shimmer down those cheeks, Cully. I ever led you astray before. Uh, you tried to have us killed. What do I expect? He's a pirate. The captain who escorted the Exeter. No, nah, Skurlock is definitely you a smart that mangy man. look on your face when you first stumbled in. Now look at you. You gained power over your enemies. Made a name for yourself all through the Red Isle. And word is, Admiral Rama in the east. I love you can actually see player ships okay. leaving port Shadiri as you're doing the these cutscenes. It's kind of dope. Boots to the companion's throat pirate you have become. From yours truly, of course. <laughs> Slow while a random game asset yeah, slowly gets roasted, gets slowly rotated. Like Kerdak wins. Roll he gets sent someplace else with a promotion. Out of Skurlock's way, he dies. Skurlock still wins. No, it's true. Yeah, either way. One way or the other. Pirates only that, that's true. That is true. Either way, Skurlock wins one way or the other. And you can have a fleet of your own and captains to snap at your coattails. Who knows? Maybe one day you might even become a kingpin. Like me. Most importantly, you've come out in my corner. Maybe we need to take okay. him out of the picture and take his Not position as kingpin. Toast to these days, you know. <laughs> Let's go. My thanks to you, Cully. 
The den's always open for more work. Next time we cross paths, may the seas and skies be less fucking aflame. <laughs> All right. I actually want Skrlock's ship. I want Skrlock's ship. Well, she looks interesting. See, all this meme in games like this, work with the guy, he tries to take you out, you take him out instead and win. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. I'm all right with that. Don't matter if a ship's a leaky old tub, as long as the captain's brave. Aye, a crew of merry pirates can pinch a pretty fortune out here. Or die trying. Yeah. Okay, what did uh let's go see what we got cosmetics wise. Luck can only get you so far. You need to keep hunting, stealing, growing. Oh we will, don't worry. And I love the fact that I can just look. There's my ship. Right there. Skrlock's ship is a brigantine. Ooh, see, that's even better. Uh, we don't need to repair, but let's manage the ship. Weapons. What did we just... We'll... You know what? Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna... While those might have better firepower... Ooh, that range, man. These have a faster reload, but these things have better range. Chef's kiss. Fucking chef's kiss. Culvern threes. We're coming into our own, eh? They have better range, too. Range or reload? I mean, right? It's kind of like... Fuck. Skrillox chasers are great for mortar rocket builds. Are they? Good to know. These are Culvern 3s. I kind of wish I had more of those, but do I? No, I've got Demi Cannons. So we got Skrillox Chasers currently mounted. What is that? That is the Flooding Demi Cannon 1. Um, Culvern 3. Zamzama. You know what? We're going to throw the Zamzamas on that on... That was on the uh, port side and starboard side. We're going to throw. Yeah, we'll do the Culvern 3s. Uh, yeah, we'll do the Culvern 3s on the. Yeah, Culvern 3s on, on the on the starboard side. OK, ship cosmetics. We now have the Skurlock set complete. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus, that is freaking gorgeous. Hells yes. All right, what do we got for cargo I can dump? Okay, what? <sighs> Thunderwolf, chasers take out the sails and they stop moving. Rain hell with mortars and rockets. Ooh. I have a question. What are these damn star charts for? I, I I I get the sensation. I get the feeling that these are specific to quests. Yeah, two hundred eight. Okay, we'll, we'll take the two hundred eight. Camphor. Yeah. Well. Um, well, pain plank. Okay. 
cast irons, ingot, tobacco, firearms, cannon powder, uncut sapphire, camp four. You can sell them to a specific group place. Okay. I'm wondering if that's like black market stuff. Transfer to warehouse. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. It is, oh, so it's not the black market. Got it. All right. I mean, sometimes it, it's weird because sometimes it's one of those like, you never know, right? Uh, what do we got here? Okay, let's let's see what the... We got back a long way, Skerlock and I. Don't suppose untold treasures. Uh, stolen commodities from merchants plying the local trade routes. Tatamo's business threatens to run dry. Steal commodities to feed Tatamo's business. Okay, so these this is effectively like repeatable daily quests just to build infamy. Check and check. The Pomwet. You need a Nara. Oh. Hey. Hello. There's a few new faces recently, but yours is the face everyone is talking about. Welcome to Saint Anne. This oasis of joy is Le Pont Muet. Oasis of joy. A lively place, I grant you. <laughs> I'm the owner, but also the barkeep. Mixing and making drinks is my passion, among other things. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're adventurous, Love try that. Among one of other my things. blends. If you just want the best rum in all the seven seas, you can get that too. Come in, put your feet up, and let your guard down. Enjoy some peace and pleasure. A word to the wise, though. Make your waves outside, not in here. I'm not as sweet as I look. Hmm? <laughs> you understand me? Those burns me? look harsh. So effectively, what she's saying is, if I fuck around, I'll Good. find out, and I don't want to find out. God, listen <laughs> to me doing all the talking. All right, Majafo, cheers, man. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate What's it. Your poison? I hope you're. I honestly, I really do hope you're doing well, man. Uh, well, I, you know, like, open. Oh, only okay. my oasis of cool drinks and thirsty travelers enjoying the shade. Well. What do you drink? Mm. Real business, eh? <laughs> I like that. You know what you want. All right, Galby. This is how it works. Before I dealing with dad in hospital, also running around some. Around I understand. Here, eating all the little fish. Real life, That's man. Not I get it. Business. So Just take care, okay? Offered a service that and I hope, even like, I hope all is now, going well. Everyone has a chance. You might still get eaten, mind, but you might get fed too and fed well. All we ask in return is a reasonable one-time donation and discretion. So, that's it. What do you say? Are you sure you want to turn the golden wheel? Small favors pave the way for great opportunities at the helm. Enter the smuggler's hideout at St. Anne to continue Yanita's initiation. We're not right going to do that right now. No telling now. Telling what? About what? I know nothing. We didn't speak. I don't know who you are. You're just a purveyor of fine, fine beverages. How's that? You are just the purveyor of fine beverages. Right. Uh, so, wait, what, what? Job board. Smuggle contraband, smuggle brandy, steal Farah artifacts, smuggle pelts, sabotage Farah settlements, rebel armaments. You don't get a whole, I mean, you get some cash for it, but you don't really get it. Your infamy sucks on these. All right, Thunder, cheers, man. The infamy on those suck. 50 infamy? Come on. You gotta do better than that. Fangs of the Pharah. Hunter and the Hunted. Blood drunk. Oh, well, Captain Galvin Roche. 
company scum needs you to put down butchered needs to be put down butchered my crew tied me to the mast of set my ship on fire find the drunken sea dog and his sorry arse and be rewarded with silver seven thousand silver Ooh, that is also level nine way above our pay grade currently all right this is what's gonna happen chat this is where we are gonna call it i want to say thank you Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you enjoyed yourself watching the stream today. Uh, thanks so much for dropping follows. Thank you so much for subs, resubs, gifted subs, bits, and as always, the tip. Because around here, you can only do the tip. Oh my. You can't go any deeper than the tip. All right, chat. Um, so here's the thing. Just wanna just wanna keep it keep this fresh in everyone's minds. I'd like to be able to have the opportunity to go and pick up some costume stuff for stream reasons. Uh, if you want to help out with that, that's how you do it. That will get put into buying stuff like pirate hats and captain's, captain's uniform, like costumes and stuff like that. So we can, you know, jazz things up a little bit, have a little bit of fun with it and make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit, a lot more entertaining for all of you. Anyways, chat, thanks for being here as always. Your presence is a present. I appreciate all of you taking the time, especially when there are so many different streamers that go live every second of every hour and you chose to hang out here and I really do truly appreciate it. Anyway, we're gonna go raiding. So let's go see if we can find somebody to raid chat. Let's find another fellow streamer here on Twitch. We'll see if we can show a little bit of love. Who do we have? Who do we have? You know what? I know exactly where I'm going to send you. I am going to send all of you over to DJ Knight. DJ is currently playing a little bit of Helldivers. He's a wonderful human being, super friendly, very knowledgeable in game with regards to game development um, and a friend to this community. So go show DJ Knight a little bit of love. I'll catch you all back here tomorrow. Have a wonderful Monday evening. Cheers, chat.